Hello everybody, this is Hollywood Matt Connolly with the double biceps there. In the contract, it is a legal requirement, has to be done every single episode. We're just ticking our boxes. We have with us two lovely ladies from the Muay Thai world, from Boar's Martial Arts Gym, not Boar's MMA. Carly would kick me in the head if I said that. She was glaring at me last time because I did actually say Boar's <laughs> MMA and she was like, it's Boar's Martial Arts. Uh, yeah, so from the Muay Thai world, we have Carly Taylor and we have Hannah Salter. So... Thank you very much for coming into the show. It is a pleasure to have you here. Uh, The queen of Friday night sparring uh, here on the left, a professional rollerblader uh, by day and, uh, yeah, (laughs) Muay Thai on the weekends, is it? (laughs) With Carly. Part of all trades. Yeah, that's right, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, so maybe we'll go with what sort of um, got you into Muay Thai because it is a little bit of an un... Well, not something that everybody is into, combat sports. Um, so good to see that more females seem to be getting into the sport as well. Uh, I think you know, with Carly Gangel, who we've got a lovely picture of here, uh, running the Balls Martial Arts Gym has really promoted that with you know the females fighting first uh, and with the Pride Fighting Championships she's running as well. Seems to be a lot more women that are getting into it, so... Yeah, it's really interesting to see that. So maybe we'll start with with you, Carly, and <laughs> yeah, we'll start with you. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> um, and uh, like, how did you first find out about Muay Thai? Uh, well, I just asked people for recommendations on PTs. Okay, like, I initially just wanted boxing, yeah. and one of my friends mentioned Carly, met her, did PTs, did boxing for a while, and then found out through just talking to her that she was a a champion. World champion. Yeah, world champion. <laughs> and I was like, oh, right, all right. Yeah. Let's oh. give this a whirl. <laughs> and I've been and punching you accidentally <laughs> every now and then. Right. <laughs> but then, yeah, I just went to a class and the rest is history, really. Wow. Yeah. So was she PTing at like a gym? At Boars. Oh, okay. Yeah, when they were at Halloran Hill. Oh, oh which right. is, Yeah. Well, at this one as well. Right yeah. There. So you went there as like um, – you were looking for just a gym to train at or you went there specifically for some boxing training? Some boxing training. I okay. just wanted to do something different. I was at a normal gym. wasn't really enjoying it. Yeah. So I didn't know what I was doing. And then, yeah, went from there. Wanted something high intensity. I wanted to punch people on the side. Secretly. <laughs> what it was. Like, I feel like punching somebody. Why not? Does anyone know where I can punch somebody <laughs> illegally? <Yeah. laughs> and not get hurt in the afterlife. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and was Boars like somebody recommended it? Or? Yeah, a girl went to school with Tiff, which is like a – everyone knows her. Yeah, everyone. Is, yeah. Hit, um, oh, Tiff, yeah. yeah. Tiff, <laughs> <laughs> you know it? Nah. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I went to school with her and, yeah, she just mentioned Carly and I went from there because she'd started when Carly started off. So. Okay. Yeah. This was before they moved to where they are at the moment? Yeah, okay. it was 2015. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's been – yeah, yeah, seven years. A few years. Wow, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, and, and one of the best pad holders going around. Oh, I don't know about yes. that. Ah. <laughs> All right, Kelly. Nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I um, do enjoy it, but... <laughs> yeah, so but once you got into... It was, it was like you started with PT yep. and it was like uh, one-on-one with Carly mm-hmm. and she's like, hey, we also run classes and you're like, oh, okay, well, maybe yeah. I'll give that a go as well and jump in there. Yeah, dragged one friend, my friends. Uh-huh. But I hated getting sweaty, hated that kind of stuff. Oh. It came for me okay. and then drifted off once I got comfortable. Oh, I thought you were going to say she took over and became a world champion as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious. No, she's very not much that type of person. Okay. She did it for me. So. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always good. you got to like get somebody to come along. Just come along with me. I don't know yeah. what it is and I need you there just in case. It's exactly terrible. Right. That was great. <laughs> How many classes did she go to? I reckon she was there for about six months with me. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, she, and then uh, it was until I got comfortable, met, met a few people. And she's like, oh, you, I'll let you go now. You yeah. can have your leash. <laughs> oh, right. That's cool. <laughs> nice. And yeah. how long did it take before you sort of felt like, hey, I really enjoy this. This is my thing. I fell in love with it pretty much straight away. All oh, right. Yeah. Wow. It was, like, it was different. It was hard. It wasn't what I was used to. Yeah. It was challenging. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And building up to competing as well. Yeah, that wasn't the initial thought. No. That was just, I just wanted to train. So, Right. Yeah. Was it your thought or was it like Carly saying? Hey. No, it was mine. I went to Thailand a couple of times. Oh, okay. Um, with the club. The first time was literally six months after I started. Mm-hmm. I went there just to train, loved it, came back, went the next year, came back. I'm like, yeah, I want it. Wow. And then it was a year after that to when I fought. Okay. Mm. So a year after the first time you went to Thailand? Sorry? A year after the first time that you went to Thailand? No, the second. Oh, the second time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, how long were the trips to Thailand? Uh, oh, they'd vary. I think I went like two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, it just mm. varied each time. Living in the gym? No, no. Oh. We had luxury. Oh. <laughs> we had our own penthouse apartment. Not pretty much, no. Massa- <laughs> Remedial massage. <laughs> <laughs> Massages every day. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's You're awesome. training twice a day, you get massages. <laughs> yeah. Is it because it's really hot there that you're training really early and then sort of later in the evening? Yeah, well, you train it like you've run at 7? Or 6.30? I think it was earlier than that. Yeah. Maybe like 6.30 for a right. good hour. Mm. Yeah. Start at, I think maybe 7.30 training. That was two hours training. Yeah. And then we'd run to breakfast, and then the afternoon would be four. Oh, I never did the afternoon training. Oh. Session. <laughs> I think it was oh, like, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Secrets um, being revealed yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think it was about, yeah, ma- maybe about 4.30. So it was a bit past the hottest, but it was still hot. Right. Like, no matter what, you're getting water poured over you because you, it's just boiling. Yeah. So. Is there a special person that just... That's their job. Just pour water over no, people. No, it's whoever's <laughs> holding pads for you. They just walk over and pour it on you. I was going to say, that'd be an awesome job. It's like, yeah. you're the water pourer. Yeah, you can yes. <laughs> standing there with a bucket. Now? No, no, no not yet. Relax. <laughs> so, now? Maybe the next pad round. <laughs> right. <laughs> just soaking people. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, he's your super soaker. <laughs> no one even got angry. Like, I'd normally get a bit chuffed off about it, but no, it was great. <laughs> oh, right. We're getting like, Completely Aborted. saturated. Yeah, I was <laughs> loving it every second of it. Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, awesome. Oh, fantastic. And and Hannah, uh, what attracted you to getting into uh, Muay Thai? Um, well, originally years ago, the well, Boars have a branch up in Clare that's just karate. Mm-hmm. Um, my dad got involved in that way back, and then I thought I'd try karate. Probably wasn't for me just because I like the high intensity, so it clashed with other sports. Mm. But yeah, same thing if or probably five years down the track, I went overseas with these guys and the club and, yeah, the girls are like, you should just come, because I've trained, like, um, in, to my own gym and all that type of thing mm. beforehand, so I love the fitness. They're like, come out tra- and train with us. So I did, loved it. And wow. then literally as soon as we got back, like, Dad's got to set up at home with a bag and um, Matt's down for the size of a ring, train in there four times a week and then drive down to Adelaide and train a couple of the night and the next morning and head back to Claire. Oh, really? Yeah, so Jeez. did it. Literally, wow. yeah. Like, as soon as we got back from Thailand, that just every Set week. Fired, <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> every week, we just come down to Adelaide and train and go home. Oh, wow. What, so in the same day? Or, like, are you sometimes safe or not? This, sometimes it was the same day. Jeez. So, okay. like, I would come down on Monday night, do a double session, drive back to Claire, and then <laughs> <laughs> continue. Is that three, three hours or something? Uh, it's four or four hours <laughs> round trip, so... <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's drive. commitment. Yeah, oh. yeah, <laughs> to do that week in week out. But yeah. Yeah, it was impressive. I yeah. must say, oh, I loved right. it. So. Was it this this thing? Like, what was it that kicked it off? You're like, this is my thing. Like, as yeah, you got into like, the ring and and you're like, yes, this is it for me. Yeah, I, like I love doing the karate, but just wanted something that little bit more high intensity. And then when you put high intensity and like that, you know, <laughs> combat, um, self defense, martial arts together, like you get Muay yeah. Thai. Oh and yeah. It was, it was just love it. Like, it's oh. so much fun. So. Well, that's great. So yeah. you, you would drive down and then do training down here at Boars. Yeah. And, and then all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so good. I love yeah. seeing it. Oh, that's awesome. It was great. Uh, how, she moved here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how long did you do that for? Like driving down and driving um, back? Well, I've been in Adelaide for a year now and was it halfway through 2018. So a couple of years I was... <laughs> wow. Does that, does that work out? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That I was driving for, yeah. <laughs> Right, and you were doing flights at the same time? Was that Your flight um, prep was still doing that style of thing or would you come down for no, a few I weeks? No, I moved down. So sort of was trying to get down more. Bef- so before I moved down, we were working out a plan on how we could go about training and making it work. Um, but, yeah, I wanted a lifestyle change. So I had a few changes down uh, up at Clare and mm-hmm. then, yeah, decided to move down. So I've been fighting for just under a year. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty well since I moved down here. All right. As soon as you yeah. got down, you're like, "Yep, tie me up." Uh, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> wow. And was it which which um, organisations you fought with? Pride Fight Series. Yep. So SA Muay Thai League Pride. Um, I went up to Darwin for my second fight. Um, so uh, yeah, fight like Fury fight. Mm. And previously, um, oh, it's <laughs> like what did we just fight on? 
Apex. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> right. I, I was there. <laughs> I was there too, as well. Too many nuts to there. <laughs> no, <laughs> What's hard is that there's so many different organisation yeah. names and stuff, That's and they're it. all like aggressive. No, yeah. like, you know, the apex, the pride, the this, the that, the yeah. this, you know, the beast mode, the aggressive yeah. fire <laughs> league. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all the supplements in the gym. They're That's all it. very super hyper aggressive names, and That's it's it. like, but then the flavors are like really soft. Like it's so weird. It'd be like, Sweet. yeah, it's like devastate beast mode in cotton candy flavor. <laughs> Like, okay, it doesn't sort of go together, but whatever. It works. <laughs> yeah, it's like you get attracted to the label because it's got this, like, you know, f- red fire flame beast glowing red eyes thing, and it's like, yeah, cool, and then it's, like, in rainbow. <laughs> it's like, where's the rainbow flow? Has anyone got any rainbow? Like, <laughs> what do you want rainbow? <laughs> so, no, it's just funny. I always find that... Um, yeah, working in those places, it's like when you flavors and it's like bubble gum, you know. <laughs> it's all the enticing ones. That's yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So a year you've been down in Adelaide, yeah. right? And how many fights did you have since you got down? Uh, yeah. So I've had four since I've been here. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, yeah, four in under a year, which is I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, absolutely. So trying yeah, to get sure. it done. Yeah, uh, and what about the first time you stepped into the cage? Well, it's like the cage, sorry, I'm so used to the UFC. Uh, into the ring, uh, like that walkout when you were going out, were you, what were you thinking at that moment? Uh, I think I was just so excited to be getting them. Not really sure what, what I was getting myself into, yeah. but yeah, it was exciting. Um, had, yeah, heaps of family and the club around, so it was, yeah, just good to get in there and, you know, all the hard work that you do training, being able to... Use it. Showcase it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So cool, yeah. How did how did you go in your first fight? Uh, yeah, I had a unanimous win, which was really awesome. Cool. Yeah. Wow, and it's um. So you got your amateurs uh to start with. You were in the headgear, yeah. and is it three two minute rounds? Yeah. Right. Okay. And so that's first two minutes when you came back to your corner. <laughs> like we just like, I t- like yeah. I don't know what yeah. happened. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well, you just like take a breath. You're like, <laughs> you can't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> that right? Just it again but right. you don't, yeah i don't remember much of it like there's a few things to remember and then it's just all the videos and photos that you're like oh yeah that happened and right it's just this yeah. blur this whirlwind and then when you look <laughs> back at it and you're like oh i remember that moment yeah yeah, right. well. yeah. <laughs> yeah. was there any like standout where you're like that was something i'm really happy with what i executed there like i landed a combo or it was like i really felt like um, I, that punch landed the way i wanted it to or yeah, there was some moments in there. Carly always makes bets with us, so <laughs> I, I completed my bet. Ah, <laughs> so I've heard <laughs> about this, yeah. Yeah, I got the head kick in, so I was pretty happy about that. <laughs> ah, did you look over at Carly and go like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that. It's it's like so a $100 bet or something, I was like, it? I did it twice. It's She's like, no. Yeah, it's $50. Okay. Yeah, it's 50 yeah. Okay. So but, um, yeah she, I tried to claim 100 but <laughs> <laughs> only yeah. one. Oh, well, you landed two, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Did she do the same with you? No, she didn't do that when oh. I was fighting. So it came in a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah, she just started doing it with the girls. I was like, a bit of fun. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. So, yeah. Yeah. It is. Like, yeah. just work on their strengths. Yeah, they can I think it's yeah. good. Like, you, you know, you prep and work on those things. Sometimes, like, you just need, like, we all enjoy it anyway. But it just puts the fun back in. It's like, oh, let's try and throw That's these. It. Like, it's yeah. Fun, so. It's a bit of yeah, game in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's what's some of the like? Has she had any sort of really weird like spinning high kick or anything like? Is it pretty much like you know overhand right or you know? It's very much what you're sh- like. Yeah. Strong with what? I Duff's think done a different one, hasn't she? I don't know what dust were. What? Mm. I think we had a uh, Jenna. She had an upward elbow coming in. I reckon upward elbow. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a very specific yeah. one there. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, well, like the Anderson Silva, uh, you I know, just that, that yeah, one, yeah. yeah. Oh, Straight like up this position, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. What, what would be that strike where you've got like coming up under through the guard? You literally have to turn it. Yeah, t- you'd be turning it. Right. Like that, yeah. yeah. Same name, same name of the movement. It's still an elbow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll just call it an elbow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's spinning it's up elbow. Right. <laughs> yeah. That makes yeah. Sense. No, because I mean, I'm coming from like. Uh, a, a UFC or the, um, an MMA fan background, which, mm. you know, every time I bring up to Carly, she's like, I don't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking right. about. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I was like, oh, and Anderson Silva, I saw this both this plank, like, oh, yeah, look. <laughs> but no, there was an amazing fight. Uh, Anderson Silva, Ryo Chun, uh in Japan. And 
Anderson Silva um, landed this crazy uh, upwards elbow, um, which knocked the other guy out. And just from a kicking distance, he stepped in. And between the guard, he's launched this elbow that's just gone straight to the chin. And it, it's just, yeah. it was like, you know, never seen it before. So it was like, yeah. I actually mm. reckon you showed me that. Oh, okay, cool. I reckon. Yeah. yeah. I've shown you a lot of things. You have. <laughs> <laughs> I actually remember that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. Every, every morning it's like a... Something different. Yeah. Like quizzes me or... <laughs> <laughs> we had a, a typing challenge the other day. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Well, I wonder. I wonder who won. Who, I, who did win that guy? I knew who was going to win. It wasn't me. <laughs> well, you're on. You're on foreign ground, which is you know. I had the home court advantage. You did. If you were at my work, right. I would have had it. I still would have won. <laughs> <laughs> no, <thanks different. laughs> I would have gloated more as well. <laughs> yeah, no, every day is like a, a crazy thing that is going on at, my, at the moment we're playing which i haven't got you to do yet oh, <laughs> we're God, playing this stupid <laughs> this, this stupid like 2000s game and it's like it's literally like sheep on one side of the screen like it's animated and then like <laughs> this is so silly <laughs> too much time. <laughs> and then like one of them will run across the screen and you've got to click a button like as fast as you can react. Yeah, to like tranquilize it or something, you know. <laughs> and it's like, but it's random. So these sheep, like there's five different, you know, times that they'll run across and, and it's like sometimes they'll go one after the other and sometimes there's like a big gap and if you click too early, you get penalised. And it's a stupid game. It's like <laughs> a, I don't know. <laughs> but we've got like, you know, it sums up your total average of like how fast you reacted yeah. and so that's the, the current challenge <laughs> at the gym <laughs> tomorrow morning it'll yeah, be I have no doubt yeah that's it so but no I managed to I've got I've got the current high score because uh, I basically yeah well I was basically lucky because I, I fluked it in a way oh, <laughs> I, 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 I sort of guessed when it was going to the sheep was about to come out isn't that the thing of the game you have to guess yeah, well, you just got to react. So, oh. like, as soon as that appears, it's like, how fast can you click it? Oh. And I and I clicked just as like a leg <laughs> had, had twitched, you know. And I was like, Ugh. how many times have you played this game? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah, these are the so important things that you do for night shift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not going to win this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might fluke it though. You might be able to get two of those. But well, yeah. I'm well, hey, hey, we can hey, look. Hey, you, you guys will probably have really good reaction times because you know you, you've got sort of big consequences if you get things wrong. Like, oh yes, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're just way better than you are. <laughs> 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 oh, that's it. So, um, and uh, so you've had four four fights in your fight career in, in one year, uh, and current record. How did how did you go with your? Um, I've had some, yeah, good fights, uh, 4-0, oh, which wow. I'm really stoked about. Wow. Yeah, so, um, yeah, really happy with my fights and, yeah, the preps, um, but, yeah, credit to everyone that helps out along the way, it's not just me. It's all, it's all you. <laughs> it's only, you could have done it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. And so, uh, how many do you have to do before you can go from amateur to pro? Um, I'm... Yeah, coming up to my first profile later in the year. So, um, yeah. Is there is there a certain number or is it when you just say, look, I'm ready to go for it? I think, it, yeah, it comes down to, yeah, know how you're performing. Um, yeah, sort of, nice. yeah, around the five, yeah, around yeah. that mark. Right. Um, depending on, yeah, the result and, yeah, how everything's been going. Mm. Through, yeah. So the main difference is, is the pads and the length of the rounds. Is there any other rule sets that change? Uh, yeah, pretty well. It's just, yeah, the length of the rounds that change. Um, I think all my fights have been full tie rolls, so okay, yes, yeah, so full knees, elbows, yeah, throws, yeah, everything, clinch work, <laughs> yeah, yeah, head parts, <laughs> foot stomps, <laughs> tickling. All of it. <laughs> 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 uh, is there anything specific? Like, obviously, there's certain rules or certain moves that you're not allowed to do. Is there is there anything from amateur to pros that? Or is it exactly the same, but it's just pads? Or is there some sort of technique that they're like you can't do that until you're in the pro side? You probably elbows um, are your much. biggest thing, um, but yeah, so you'll lose all the padding, um, and then yeah, it's just your technique. You know, you have to develop more skills along the way, so you can yeah showcase all of that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just get better. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you can do more Be things. Be easier without yeah. all the pads. 
Yeah, yeah. it's definitely yeah. a lot yeah. easier without the pads. Is um, have you had it where like the 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 headgear has shifted and then you can't see? <laughs> it shifted not fully to where I can't see, but they definitely move around. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. I had to. Especially <laughs> <laughs> you've been like somebody hits you and then now you're blind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, like, yeah. You're trying to get the thing back into position. You can. <laughs> yeah, you, or you can't hear your corner. Or yeah, it's yeah. just. Right. Or I've had. Uh, I think it was oh, on Pride. The shin pad slipped down. So oh. I was like fighting without shinies anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was just like, I just want to take these off. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's it. So with with the headgear, I mean, obviously they're looking at protecting their amateur fighters and saying, you know, we, we're going to put you in if you haven't had experience before. You've got shin pads. You've got the headgear. Um, is there anything else that you have? Um, elbow pads. Oh, elbow pads as well. Okay. But are you you're allowed to throw out full elbows and everything in amateurs? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like. Mod tie, you can't, but yeah, full tie rules, that's fine. You'll just have, you'll either be padded or you won't be padded. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have a particular uh, thing that's like, this is my thing, like, you know, kicks, or are you more of like an inside fighter? Or um, I don't know. There's, yeah. something, I there's still, something there. I think you I'm still finding. Still yeah, each okay. fight I've had something different that I've done that I've been stoked about. So, okay. yeah, ah. I'm still trying to find... What I really like to use in the uh, ring, just playing around with everything at the yeah. moment. Yeah, you're a bit like a, a of an all rounder kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I guess pretty so. much. Yeah, okay. at so the moment, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, so it's like you, you you can fight from anywhere. You you know you keep distance, or you try to get inside, depending on the opponent. Or yeah. it's not like I need to be inside to be effective. Yeah. Oh, you're like, I'll do it. I can do anything. <laughs> yeah, I try. I'll kick them from the other side of the ring. <laughs> I'll throw my glove at them. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just reading your opponent and, and yeah. right. listening to the corner. That's that's probably my biggest issue is sometimes I don't like to listen. Oh. So <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier if you listen, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you, have, who have you had caught cornering the same corners the whole time? Um, yeah, I've had Carly in there and then a few of the other trainers um, jump in and out, Darren and Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And they're they're sort of giving you advice, and you're not listening to it. There was one fight that <laughs> <laughs> I didn't listen, <laughs> and after that, I got told off. <laughs> oh, but right. I listen now. <laughs> okay. Was it was it one of the first? Yeah. Right. It was my second fight. <laughs> ah, yeah. But <laughs> did you hear them at all, or was you oh, yeah, so? I heard them, and I just didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're like throw the jab. You're like I'm not throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I just wanted to like a head kick. <laughs> yeah, Carly's like punch. I was like head kick. <laughs> I want my fifty dollars. <laughs> you said fifty dollars. So I'm gonna get that fifty. I don't care. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. So, um, and she's cornered you for each one of the fights, and you're you're both I mean, both training basically. She's seems to be one of the the big fixtures in in especially with female uh, martial arts or Muay Thai in the state. So, yeah, having her in your corner would be a big plus, I yeah, would imagine. Definitely. Yeah. Is there any other clubs that are that have a lot of girls that are training there, or it's just? Um, there is no. I haven't heard of one that's as much as many women as what we've got. Right. And fighters as well. Like yeah. Fighters, yeah. I'm gonna be uh, annoying and just ask if you can move the microphone a little bit over <laughs> because I'm sort of getting half of what oh, you're saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? That's fine, yeah, yeah okay. perfect. <laughs> it's sort of like I'm going... No, it's better. Yeah, that, that was my intention. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to hear me. <laughs> I'm just going like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. Um, yeah, and you had a, a fantastic first fight. I have seen this fight, which is on YouTube, if anyone wants to watch it. It's on YouTube. Isn't it? Oh, where did we? Where did you show it to me? I was on my phone right now. Oh, that was. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, okay, we'll have to get it up. Well, well. No, <laughs> <laughs> no one ever wants to see their first fight, and I, I know what I could have done to f- so much different. Right. But what would you have done different? A lot. Just lots. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> just, she was just so tall. It was just like jabs were just getting into my face and chops yeah. and yeah, it was. Chop, chop. It was mayhem, though. You it guys were going. Mayhem. It was blow for blow. It in a was. Way. It was very fast paced for a first fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was three two minute rounds. Same same deal. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. Like yeah, when you showed that to me, and it was just yeah, hell for leather. Like both landing and getting hit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it's they declared a winner in that fight. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember if it was split or unanimous. 
I don't, I don't know. Right. But either way. Doesn't matter. No. Yeah. I didn't care about the result. I just wanted to get yeah. in there. So. That's right. Yeah. And what about when you were heading in and were you sort of, do you remember the mindset? I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm getting no, into the ring. It's I, like, I go very quiet when I'm nervous. So uh, I just don't speak. Yeah. I just was like, just get in there. Just do it. And yeah. then I just heard like everyone from Boars on my left hand side uh, and looked up as I walked out and that just made me feel so much better. Oh good. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So uh, when you hear that, it just sets it in stone that you've got yeah. a special special something there. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have like this feeling of like the mentality when you're about to, to fight was did you have like a a build up of sort of uh, anger or, or like or anything or it was just very calm or very you calming. were just focused on technique and okay this is what we got to do or was it overwhelming like I don't know I'm just going to get in and see what happens or I didn't know what to expect I was I was trying to be as calm as possible like just get in there and do what Carly taught me mm. and yeah just see what, how I went really yeah. and yeah but I got very I don't know is it like inter- adrenaline rushes oh yeah I had them over and over after though Afterwards, afterwards. Yeah. Okay, what what happened? Like you were just getting random spikes of like. Yeah, I was talking to people. My face would just go white, <laughs> and I couldn't see. I couldn't like wow. hear anything like that. It was everyone's like, you need to sit down. It happened about three times. Wow. And then like the doctor came over and she's like, you just need to eat sugar. And I was like, all right, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you did you have to cut weight for the fire or like try to stick in a certain weight no, range? I was very fortunate. I actually went to Thailand for my fight prep, so. Okay. I dropped sweated it, it out. Pretty much, I <laughs> didn't have to cut anything on the day. I woke up on weight. Oh, okay. So, I, because of all the training, like I trained for two two and a half weeks, I think in Thailand before my fight. Came back on weight. Just had to watch, make sure I didn't overeat yep. or anything like that. And then, yeah, yeah. happy well, days. I had a very easy one compared to some people. Yeah. So, oh, so some of the weight cuts I've seen, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. People trying to lose like 10 kilos in two days or something, you know, it's sitting in the sauna and wrapped in you know, towels and hot baths and, mm. yeah, it's it's an issue. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just try and sit in the sauna with these guys when they need to, if they need to sit in there, but most of them don't really need to. Mostly really. pointing and laughing, is that yeah, what it is? Yeah. No, yeah. dying with them, really. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly sitting like, yeah. has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Would you walk in and be like, Jesus, it's hot in here? <laughs> yes, I have to. <laughs> and a few of them have just looked at me, I'm like, oh, just shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> have you had to cut weight at all? Um, Not really. Most of like, just obviously prepping and being smart, but like Carly said, in, you know, the last couple of weeks, you drop it pretty quickly with the training that you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been pretty fortunate as well. Haven't really had to cut anything like five hundred grams on the day. Oh, that's about it. So geez. yeah, how did you manage? <laughs> yeah, pretty well. How did you manage that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For a girl, you, it's actually very hard <laughs> compared well, to a guy. We could have taken your t-shirt off. You would have been all right. <laughs> <laughs> cut your hair off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've always wondered that. Like when you see like a fighter who's trying to make weight and they've got a huge beard and like you know, caveman hair, and it's like, that's a kilo right there. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'd rather cut a kilo yeah. than cut my hair. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I think most people would. <laughs> is it because you've got the tight bun at the moment? Like, is that something that you get sick of having to, like, does your hair come undone during training and it's like, mm-hmm. damn it, hang yeah. on, just give me a minute, I've got to go and yeah. fix this up. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Braids are <laughs> like the only, that's why we braid our hair. It's yeah. the only way to keep your hair in. Right, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no, probably maybe like five times a night we'll fix our hair. <laughs> well, <laughs> Not yeah. More. yeah, one of the uh, UFC, are you going to bring this up? <laughs> uh, one of the, the female champions um, has shaved her head because of that reason. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> just so sick of having to go, hang on, let me just fix my hair again. So but If I could braid my own hair, I'd braid it every day. All oh, right. I just can't though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I have no get, idea. Get Penny to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my, my daughter, um, my wife was away and uh, and then I had to get my kids ready for school and I didn't know that you have to like, you, you're not going to have their hair down <laughs> at the school. <laughs> really? Yeah, it has yeah, to be tied up. Yeah, my school was like that. Yeah. yeah. I just I didn't know, and yeah, then um, me yeah, my my oldest is like, oh yeah, you just put my hair into it like a ponytail, and I was like, nah. how do you do that? <laughs> yeah, YouTube, and then I'm there with like a rubber band, like this is stupid. <laughs> it's, <laughs> so, it's so simple, but so oh no, yeah, well, 
It's simple when you know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> His hair stick it out like, was, yeah, you just have to go like that. <laughs> the teacher actually <laughs> fixed it up. <laughs> the teacher fixed it for Points me when I got to it. Yeah. <laughs> so no, oh. I could get that that side of it for sure. But uh, yeah, so first fight uh, at the end of it, would you, would you was it just like a whirlwind? Do you remember what sort of moments of it now, um, as opposed to when you're in in the actual ring? Yeah, I remember little bits and pieces of it. Like when I got out, I wouldn't couldn't have remembered anything. Right, I couldn't remember being in the corner. Couldn't remember anything <laughs> of it. Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it happened, obviously. But <laughs> right, you just yeah, I just couldn't remember any of it. Right, but now I, I do get bits and pieces. Yeah, of what was in there? Yeah, so is it different? Like when you watch it back. Uh, and you go, oh, I don't even remember that happening at all. Or, mm. or oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's bits that I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, didn't know. But m- most of them I remember, like yeah. bits, yeah. So. Uh, anything that you did, you were like, oh, that was good. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not that I can think no. of. <laughs> no, no, I hate I it at all. Do you know what? I haven't watched it since I showed you. Really? Yep. Oh. And I don't think I, I watched it the first time I got it. Yeah. I haven't watched it until I showed you. Wow. Let's watch it now. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring it up on the screen. <laughs> here's one we prepared earlier. I'll watch everyone else's. I just, yeah. No. And here's your opponent. Yeah. Yeah. She's lovely. She's here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> She's been hiding in the corner. <laughs> everyone wanted us to have a rematch. I oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know what it was about, but everyone said, yeah, they wanted a rematch. I was like, oh, okay. Then. Like, yeah, <laughs> what? I would have done it. But <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. what, what about now? Would you do it now? I would if I was fighting okay. again. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, she's not even fighting anymore. Oh, okay. Mm. Is she doing Friday night sparring? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just like me. <laughs> 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 yeah, absolutely. Um, so was that her first fight as well? That was her second. Okay. Yeah. Ah, so she had one. One, one on me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But she was. She's just tall. Like she had so much like reach on her. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How tall was she? Like my height or? Yeah, I'd say wow. your height. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Okay. She's very tall. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'd never, like obviously sparred people taller than me, like the guys and stuff, mm. but I just remember walking into Wayne and seeing her. I was like, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. knew she was tall. I hadn't seen how tall she was though. Right. That didn't stop anything. Doesn't matter. No, that's it right. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to try to beat them anyway. Yeah, yeah regardless. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's good. To do what I could do. Yeah. Did you have like your your game plan going into that fight? Was it like I'm going to get inside? I know she's got reach. I know she's got sort of if I stick on the outside, she's going to have an advantage. Or was it just sort of like just go in there and, and try to execute something? Or yeah, pretty much just trying ex- execute something. Right. Whatever I could. Yeah. It was a lot of a lot of punching. <laughs> she's very much a bo- like very boxer right orientated, and so was I as well. Right. So yeah, I'm a lot stronger with my hands and my legs. Left, left hook, is that what it was? This this secret weapon? Mine? Yeah. Mm, yeah, I think I actually did get it with that. Oh, nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that your sort of strength, your technique? I mean, you said something. I was like, what's your number one sort of like if you had to pick one of your strikes and say this is like my thing? Uh, it was body body. We body spoke punch. about this last night. It grew for us. Yeah, out of the back. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Um, <laughs> the cross. <laughs> right right cross. cross, I do like right cross. cross. Yeah. yeah. Your right cross? Yeah. Right, yeah, cross. Good. And but yours? Mine. Oh yeah, mine's a right cross. So oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just got down with that. Oh nice. <laughs> so you sort of sort of use the jab to set up that right cross throughout a fight. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, leg kicks. Anyone big on that in the gym that you're just like, damn it, I hate sparring with this person. There's a. I hate sparring with Jenna. She's just so <laughs> strong. Right. She's one of the other girls. She yeah. Just Whatever she does, it's just like, that really hurts every <laughs> single time. <laughs> uh, everything she throws, you're like, like, damn it, that hurts. Yeah, they're just so solid. like and on point. Oh, every time. All oh, right. Yeah, it's just good. But Jen, yeah. Jenna Poker? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I had uh, a quick little backstage interview with yeah, her. Right. Yeah, Pratt, she, yeah, yeah. Series 3. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which, no, it was great. I, love your, I think all of your guys won that yeah. night. Yeah, yeah so, we did, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> that day. It's good. <laughs> have good to night. see uh, when the next one's coming up. Is she do, is there any um, plans in the works for number four? I'm not sure as yet. Right. I yeah. Uh, I haven't heard anything, no. Okay. No. Yeah. So it's like you've got Pride Fight Series, SA Muay Thai League is also big. 
Uh, you've got Diamondback. Yep. We'll put on. I guess they're more MMA, but yeah. they yeah. did have the Apex yep. Festival with uh, Muay Thai on there as well. Is there any other big sort of promotions? I know you were talking about um, one that's in Melbourne that is quite big. That has uh, roots and yeah, rebellion. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. Right. Yeah. Is that the biggest in Australia? One of the biggest yeah. ones, okay. like very Infliction. well known. Yeah, yeah Infliction. Um, what else is there? That was mad. Yeah, there's a f- there's a few <laughs> other there's quite a ones few. around the place, but That's they're probably a bigger two. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, Muay Thai League. Mm. Right. Yeah. Is that the Muay Thai League? Is in each state, or is it just the SA one? Um, that's the Queensland one. Yeah. That's quite big. Okay. Yeah. Right. Any Are plans? Females or um, it. They recently just had an all female card, but it is mixed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. An all female card. That would have been good. Yeah, yeah. she's cool to watch. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> and and plans to go. So, with your career, uh, this is the, you've got, you're four and zero at the moment <laughs> as an amateur. <laughs> it's like, hey, this is something I'm really enjoying, yeah. and it's like you're going to continue with this and try to see how far you can push it. Yeah. Um. I just want to keep having fun with it. I think that's the biggest thing. Like, I want to go as far as I can and push myself and my body, but just I don't want to lose that that fun side to it. Yeah. it is, yeah. So at the end of the day, I just enjoy it for what it is, and the result either way doesn't really bother me. It's just fun getting in there and yeah, challenging myself. So that's, yeah, for that's, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's go important. as far as we can, um, and yeah, keep it up. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's the best thing to hear. Yeah, absolutely. That yeah, yeah. It, I've always said. No matter what it is, if you're having fun doing it, you'll continue to do yeah. it. And when it becomes to the point where even if you're making money or you've got success in something, if it's not fun, it's like, not worth it. yeah. yeah, it's like, eh. it's like, yeah, but you're a world champion or this. And it's like, yeah, yeah but I don't Actually, like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can get that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Not anything though. Yeah, it doesn't matter That's the result. Right. Just have fun with it. Right. Yeah. What, was, what was your most fun fight that you had? Um, I loved fighting in Darwin. I just... Going back to it, the crowd, like, just Darwin's such a different atmosphere. They're so chilled out. And it was just, yeah, a good fire. I had, yeah, a few relatives up there and they were having yeah. a good old time. So I think, yeah, it was just a fun night. Nice. Yeah. That was great. And, and what about in the actual, like, ring during an event or during a fight? Was there a certain moment where you're like, this is awesome? Or um, Yeah, I think still, I still go back to that Darwin fight. My first, yeah, full tie rolls, no headgear. Um, it was just, yeah, you, it's just a good feeling. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> um, yeah, you just, like you said, you know, when you're in, like, coming out of pads, like, you just feel so much more, f- like, freer. Yeah. Um, it just feels a lot more natural. I think that's probably, yeah, the first moment I felt really natural in the ring. Mm. Um, it's like your combos coming through and that technique coming through. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just a good feeling. <laughs> yeah, so the pads, do you feel like they're restricting your movement and you know, we've said about the headgear, yeah. but it's just like you've got this extra weight, I guess, and yeah. sort of feel a bit more cumbersome or you yeah. know, I get the idea of that it's a protecting thing, but it's like when you're sparring or when you're training, are you using a lot of headgear and pads? Probably not as much. Not really. Headgear, maybe. But yeah, if you've yeah. got a fight leading up, like you purely wear it so you can get used to wearing it, right. <laughs> not so much to protect yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you know, you're getting used to uh, like, yeah, being enclosed and not like hearing or yeah. being able to breathe the same way. Not being able to see, hear, or breathe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nothing yeah, vital. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> All the important things. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. And did you have to get anything custom made? Like, is this. No. Are you just going, that one in the corner? Yeah, we'll just get that one. Just wipe the sweat out of it. It'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What about, because I, I was very impressed with um, Carly's, like her setup with, with Pride. You know, all the gloves, the the ring, the canvas, everything was branded. Yeah. I was like, well, this is really professional. Like it, it was very well done. The, the entrance music, they had you know, yeah. huge speakers and lights and I don't know awesome. if there was a smoke machine I don't remember but I think <laughs> was there was I think there was yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. you can't go wrong it's with a smoke machine that's <laughs> good <laughs> yeah what about the music like during during fights because um, I thought that was kind of cool like I thought it added it's a lot of atmosphere it. to it yeah uh, is that something that I mean you're probably not hearing that when you're fighting but it's like have you felt like if you're watching a fight that it added something to to the I think atmosphere of it yeah, definitely the atmosphere and 
like you're watching the fight, you've got that, yeah, that time music in the background. You can just really tune in, like, and you're in the zone mm. um, either if, if when you're fighting or watching. Like, that's just what you're fixated on. You don't hear all that background noise, you mm. know, crowds or things like that. Um, so it's good just to really focus on the fight. And not your corner. I can't hear your corner either. Can, but... Right. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I did think it was a quite a good little element. Uh, and I think it felt like for the audience that was watching, it sort of kept them involved because mm. there was there was something happening. And even when sort of the fighters, maybe there was a fight that came out that wasn't as super exciting and you know, there was a lot of clinching or there was a lot of you know m- movement without strikes or that sort of thing. But because of that, it was like you're watching an, an event or you're watching something because of that music, it has that atmosphere – Whereas you see a lot of fights, say in you know MMA, where there's no other sound apart from the fighters, and if you've got two guys that are in a say a wrestling position, and one of them maybe is a bit gassed and he's just trying to stall for thirty seconds to get his breath back, but it just makes it very obvious that the 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 feeling in the room just goes, <laughs> and then you start hitting the come on, hurry up, and like yells from the crowd and the boos and. Yeah, but it didn't seem to have that effect with uh, the the music, the yeah. s- the snake charmer music. <laughs> <laughs> the, the calming. <laughs> yeah. is there is there a name for that? Like the the music that's with more time. I don't know. Put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I search, I I search for more time. Oh yeah, and it comes up. So right. there is, is it name. the same song the whole time? Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. It, it is. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the one song. Yeah, it just oh. goes and repeat. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought there was like a whole selection. No, right. there's different ones. Different albums. Yeah. <laughs> Greatest hits. <laughs> Which repeat. one today? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it's, it's literally, I didn't realise that. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> they just go, play. Pretty and much. then that's my job done. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll collect my $300. Thank you. Oh, okay. You got it. Right. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, leading out to a to an event. Um, so you've gone out. Uh, so we, the Darwin fight, which didn't have pads or anything like that. Um, so did they class that still as an amateur fight, or was that? Yeah, yeah okay, still amateur. Yeah. So right. yeah, just elbow pads, but same thing, full tie rules. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, and uh, which fight was that? Was it your second, third, second fight? Okay. Yeah. And so you've gone first with all the. You know, headgear and everything, and then yeah. second, it was like awesome. I don't have to wear yeah. it. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, and then came back down and had headgear, and then been out with headgear. So. <laughs> right, and you're like, damn, headgear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just that their stage has different regulations. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Do you think it should be like that with here in South Australia, or would you prefer? Or, I mean, I can see the safety aspect into. Uh, I in think theory. for you, like maybe a first fight to yeah. like, get or the feel at, of like, it. Kids. Yeah, yeah, kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but after that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> d- Bubble yeah. wrap. <laughs> yeah. <Would> roll. <laughs> <laughs> just wrapped completely so you yeah. can't move. That's you it, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> jump at each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, what, do you, what would you prefer? Like, if, Do you think the rules that they've set up here are good or would you make changes to it? I think they're, they're good, for, like the safety aspect, but... Probably SA maybe could tone down on that. A bit behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's made it a little bit tricky to get matches and things like that um, purely because of uh, all the regulations and, mm-hmm. you know, it's good to have them in place but, you know, when you're getting, yeah, you know, three plus fights probably doesn't need to be that strict. Right, yeah. yeah. It, and how many, uh, I think we were talking about this earlier, but is there a certain number that you've got to have before you can go to the professional level or is it you just literally so sign up for a professional flight? Yeah, so it's sort of around the um, five, six fights, okay. depending on how you've been going as well. Right, oh yeah, so you can't have six losses. Yeah. Of like, Let's go pro. <laughs> yeah, Let's get rid of that headgear. <laughs> <laughs> six KOs, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really good at blocking punches with my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought that was the goal. Uh, headbutting. <laughs> head I've been headbutting their fist. That was, the, that was well, it's my special move. <laughs> <laughs> I was Is there anyone in the um, martial arts world or, or Muay Thai or um, MMA, MMA even, oh. um, <laughs> that you sort of is like, this is something that I like their style or I'd like to emulate or that is like, 
um, a bit of an idol or anything? Um, obviously, the girls I would train with, Carly and Shannon, um, yeah, like the mix of their style for me. Um, but, yeah, mm. they're, they're probably people that I look up to. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But So on, like, the world stage, it's still my local my local um, uh, girls <laughs> is, is who <laughs> inspires honest, me. To be I probably – don't get much opportunity to watch other stuff. <laughs> I, I find I have a busy lifestyle, like, <laughs> between work, training and family. I don't get much time to watch. Fighting all the people. <laughs> yeah. Fighting people at work, <laughs> fighting the family. Getting all the experience. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I probably haven't watched enough to, yeah, name someone. Right. Um, but, yeah, just as I, yeah, progress, I'll probably find a style that I really like and take to. Right. So, so yeah, so you you've got. Would you say you've developed a style, or you just you you have the skill sets in all areas, and it's like you you feel comfortable in every area, regardless? Or would you say like, if if you if someone was watching you, would they say oh she's she's more um, has a tendency to be more of a boxer style, or you know she's really good in the clinch, or she likes to get knees, or you got to watch out for her high kicks, or. Probably just that tire style where you, you know you're not you know 100 active uh, active the whole time, but you're sort of watching and waiting, mm-hmm. um, just that little bit. Um, Counter striking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, still coming in and you know um, being proactive, but yeah, still not you know just going crazy in there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so do you think that you would be sort of moving towards a certain style that would be like this is this is the sort of the style that suits me best uh, is it, or is it the, at the moment you're sort of still focusing on getting all the, the skills to a level where you feel comfortable no matter where you go? Yeah, I probably, yeah, will be focusing on, you know, those basics, making them really good and then, you know, what comes naturally is that style I gravitate towards. But, mm. yeah, just, yeah, learning new <laughs> things, building my <laughs> skills first, uh, <laughs> baby steps. <laughs> yeah. Is there, is there a, a, like an area in the ring uh, that you feel like this is – as soon as I get the fight here, like this is where I'm comfortable and I know I can land some really good strikes. Like if you if you um, sort of get in close enough for knees and elbows mm. and it's like this is where I, I, where I want to be or do you want to stay on the outside or do you – I probably find myself – I like to work in the last couple of fights. I've been wanting to be in that clinch mm. um, and being in close with the knees and the elbows is – yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, do you guys work on like a lot of throws or trips at all? Uh, not heaps. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, more that clinching and yeah, yeah, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. It is. A, it's a strange thing coming from watching MMA with you know the, the tie clinch that is implemented there. Is uh, you know uh, it's obviously a different style because you do have the takedown element so some people might be using that for you know, five to ten seconds as a way to set up a takedown or a way to sort of you know press their their opponent into a certain position and then you know then they're, they're either releasing that to uh, you know maybe they're using that as a defensive maneuver to press them against the cage to get them um, with you know to avoid the the, the wide looping strikes for them. Uh, but then it's it sort of th- they'll use that to a certain point uh, and then they'll change to a different element. But then when you're watching Muay Thai, it's like that is a critical positioning that you've once you've got your Thai clinch, like you're not letting that go. Mm, you you could spend the entire round in that spot and mm-hmm. quite happily uh, a lot of, you know, dirty boxing, little inside positions leading their head into your knees. And yeah, yeah it's, do you find like if somebody gets a clinch on you and it's like, um, that you you've got you feel comfortable enough to get the positions to get out of that, or that you you don't mind if they've they've occupied their hands, you can land shots inside, or yeah. Yeah, I find that I always like to work my way back <laughs> into that like more dominant position. Um, if I'm not in that position, I like to get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But working your way, like you said, you know, um, going for those knees to the head, um, getting your elbows in there. It's yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. So if somebody grabs grabs you in the in the tie clinch. What's some of the the positions or movements that, or techniques that you are you trying to get like an underhook to get underneath to get your own yeah. clinch yeah. and and if somebody if you've got at that on someone and you can feel that they are trying to do that are you just are you trying to keep them off balance so that they they if they're reaching 
that you know that now that the arm is sort of trapped between your two or there's different movements that you're trying to yeah. um probably just yeah keep working you know no matter what you're doing in the clinch keep throwing in his knees if you sort of feel those arms moving yeah popping their arms up getting the knees up towards the ribs um but yeah yeah keep <laughs> keep working probably the biggest thing with the clinch is like people try and outpower each other right best thing is just to stay nice and relaxed and just be a noodle yeah, <laughs> be a noodle. As Carly yeah. says, be a noodle. Yeah. Be a noodle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Just, yeah, glide through, just try and find little openings, you know, through your elbows. Um, yeah, whether it's coming over the top with an elbow or through the middle, um, just finding those little spots and working on them. Yeah, yeah. So Carly's, uh, when I asked what her sort of go-to move was, what, what do you think she said? Push kick. Yep. She loves a push kick. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Does anyone else em- emulated that as like that's their thing as well now? Shannon does a lot of Shannon teams. does do a lot of teams. Yeah. Um, probably yeah, just because mm. of Shannon. Yeah. Penny's got some good ones. Everyone, yeah. They all <laughs> do it, but not not like their main. Yeah. Right. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What would be? What would you say? There's some some of the girls that you're training with. Is anyone some like main thing? So if you say okay, Carly push kick, mm, uh, yeah. what say like Penny? What would you say Penny's thing? Number like Penny's just the one body, thing. So, well, body we rips. had this conversation last night. Body <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, body rip for Penny. Yeah. Yeah. That tape as well for Shannon. I reckon we said. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, myself was the cross. Yeah. Um, Jenna was the tape, but jumping into it. Jumping oh, yeah. yeah. So the Leg up. Right? Yeah, yep. yeah. Or like um, uh, stepping into and then throwing a tape. Yeah, I'd bet just like full on jumping. <laughs> jumping tape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And she yeah. does them well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to picture how that would look. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have like? uh, Duff with an uppercut. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Duff sweeps are really good. They are. Exactly. Yeah, her <laughs> her clinching is really good. One of the other fighters. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So everyone's got yeah, everyone's got their own little thing yeah. that just well, very suits different. Them. Yeah, <laughs> we are yeah. like yeah, yeah. It's Carly, good. you didn't say yours yet. Or did you say left I hook th- maybe or body shot? Body shot. Body shot. I do like a body shot? Left hand. Left. Straight to the ribs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh. I do love me one of them. <laughs> yeah. I was watching um, there was a fight. Uh, it was from a while ago, but I just saw it for the first time yesterday. And a guy landed a spinning back kick to the other guy's ribs and broke five ribs. What? Broke five oh. of his ribs. <sighs> That's painful. And, yeah, he landed it and the other guy was like, went to step forwards to throw something back and then he's just gone. <laughs> 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 so for like a second for the pain to, to kick in yeah. before he's just yeah. dropped it. Oh god! And then he still stood for like where they with like the hands afterwards yeah. to say you're the winner. Like he was still did that, and oh, like when they <laughs> they've lifted the other guy's hands and they've gone to sort of shake hands, and his whole side was just red. Oh. It's like, Ugh. Poor guy. So, yeah, that's yeah. no good. Some that's gnarly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. gnarly injuries. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, so right. we, we've seen some of the injuries that Carly's had to deal with, like hip flexor torn and. Some shoulder issues and no, that was just that's just oh okay yeah. that's nothing it, no it wasn't yeah. in fight prep or anything okay that was, yeah right that's just maintenance is it just is it just hip, hip flexor from fight fight prep uh broke my toe oh that was the first one <laughs> right it was just which a lot of people think oh that's that's minor but that's massive like for your footwork and everything like yeah you well know. I thought it was minor right. I said to Carl I was like, it's fine I can still I can still fight because I was in I was actually matched for a fight. Yeah. I was like, it's fine. Did you say it in that voice? Yeah, <laughs> I actually it's fine. It's fine. It's I'm fine. I'm all right. I'm all right. But, no, it was my big toe. So, yeah. couldn't really walk. Very did, well. you, did you, what, you, did you kick somebody's elbow or something? I was sparring one of the boys at the club yeah. and. He punched you in the toe, didn't it? No. Yeah, I, he did. He <laughs> punched me in yeah. the toe. No, I, I um, kicked his knee. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh. Like, I didn't think anything of it at the start. Yeah. And then I woke up. The next day, and it was black. I was like, Ooh. "Ah, should be right." Oh. And then Carly made me get an extra. Yep. So, yeah. There's not much you can do for the toe, though, is there? No, like they just they go, "Yeah, it's broken," and you're like, "Yeah, what do I do?" They're like, "Nothing." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you just got to ride it out. Right. It, it sucks. <laughs> how, how long out from the? Was that for the fight that you had? Yeah, it was a few months. I think. Like, I think I got matched quite a few months out. Okay. But so it wasn't too bad for that one. But my hip flexor was a week. 
two weeks. That's two weeks. Out. Oh yeah. god. A week or two weeks out. Mm. Okay, is that why you weren't throwing punches and not kicks? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, no, that's that a was, significant yeah, that was a injury. Did you know, did you hear like a snap or a tear or something with that? Well, I had a um, tight hip flexor when I was training and I was like, oh, it's tight. And Carly's like, just let off the power for a while. I was like, all right. And then it, it actually wasn't even training <laughs> that I did it. I was <laughs> stru- uh, I was showing someone how to do a kick right. and it did it. And it was just a street shooting pain down my leg. <sighs> and I was like, that's not right. <laughs> mm. And I honestly like, didn't know what it was. And then, yeah, got... MRI and happy days. Here's the good news. That's it. Did you keep training? I did. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to work around. I just boxed. No, but not like after you threw the kick and you felt the pain. No, I, I wasn't training. I oh. was um, helping. I think one of the new girls, like just right. showing her how, like literally demonstrating a kick. Don't do this, or you'll tear your hip flexor like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't let off anything at the st- at that time, but after I like walked into Carly, I was like, uh oh. Oh, you're like I'm. Oh. Think something's gone wrong. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what's happened, but yeah, when I got tests and. Uh, yeah. Do you go straight away, or do you wait till the like, next day or something? I think I got it the next day because it was a night, so I couldn't go that night. Okay, uh, and you, but you knew something was wrong. Yeah, Damn. it was it was painful all the way down my leg. Ugh. Yeah, do they have to do surgery, or does it heal by itself? Um, if it's a bad one, they do surgery, but mine was a minor, luckily, okay. so it wasn't. It just healed itself. But oh. I did redo it running. Cause For fun. <laughs> oh, I'm bored. I might just tear it ticket. No, but it felt okay. It was a few weeks and I was like, because my physio said three months. And right. I was like, all right, start off well, small. Well, you know, you're yeah. a physio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I just started like doing small things and then I lit, just ran and felt it again. I'm like, right, let's take a step back again. <laughs> uh, was that after, that was after the flight or leading up to still? That was after, because we went yeah. up for the fight. It was at Barossa. Right. Um, obviously, I didn't. Like, I hated the fact, because I didn't look injured, but obviously I was, and yeah. I was there. I watched the girl fight someone else um, that I was meant to fight. Oh, so you, you had to pull out of that fight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that would have sucked. It did suck. I really wanted to, like, that was when I was really, I really looked forward to that one. How do you think? Was that the same final? No. Okay. That was a different one from, I think, the Murray Bridge. Right. Yeah. Okay. How do you think you would have gone against her? I'm not sure. Like, completely different, so she was shorter than me. Yeah. Um, they were both older than me, though, but yeah, I'm not too sure. It's I did watch... Old, really what? old, then. No. It was super old. <laughs> like, 87? I am, something like that. <laughs> Just a good complexion for my age. Did they have a walker when they were going in? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can't... Yeah, I don't know. She was a bit older than me, though, because she started a bit later as well. Okay. But, um, yeah. I, don't know. I did watch her first fight. I should say, yeah, I would have smashed it. I, I've had it. I would have smashed okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> You can't tried. say that because you would be like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have tried my best. <laughs> right. Yeah. It would have been a good combat. <laughs> there you go. Right. Uh, that, yeah. But she was different completely, like completely. style. Yeah, okay. very different. Um, I watched her yeah, first fight. It was, wasn't as fast paced as the, my first opponent or anything like that. So I was like. It's hard to match what you guys were doing. <laughs> 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 have you seen her fight? I actually have. Oh, seen my her God. Oh. You Let's bring it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was oh. coming down when you fought. No. I think I was the only one that fought that night. Imagine like a thousand strikes per round. <laughs> <laughs> it was and boxing. <laughs> and, and a couple of chops in there. <laughs> and then a hundred punches. That's it. Yeah. It was right. it was just very fast paced. I didn't expect it going in. It is what it is. I think yeah. sometimes you watch like your fight back and you're like, oh, that's no fast forward. And yeah. then you're like, no, mm, that's how fast it was. Yeah. Yeah. And those two yeah. minutes would go just like, you know, yeah. the bell goes and you yeah. start and you're like, and then the bell goes, you're like, what happened? That's <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty well. Was it really two How minutes? was that two minutes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you got like sort of gassed in a fight though, where it's like, so you've um, three, three minute rounds, oh, sorry, t- three two minute rounds. Yeah. Um, have you felt like say in the third round you're like oh my god I'm sort of I'm getting tired here um, I think yeah you feel that way but you you just keep going like right. <laughs> it's like pretty well it's like well I don't want to stop because if I stop you only cop one so you just keep going and then yeah you're here for 10 seconds you're like oh, 10 seconds so you just go that little bit harder even yeah. though you're exhausted and then that like one breath after the fight you're like 
oh my god a full big deep breath this is so bad <laughs> oh right well because yeah. you're under pressure the entire time it's yeah. like if i take a deep breath that i might get clocked <laughs> <laughs> yeah it just goes so quickly like you can just fully relax and you yeah all right just well regain um, everything <laughs> yeah about well, getting your hand raised is what sort of feeling is that that's the best feeling. I don't think you can describe the feeling. It's just, you know, all the prep, the hard work, and then right at the end, you can just, yeah, it's just joy, I think. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. Oh, that's fantastic. And yeah. have they all been unanimous decision? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah. it's a lot of rounds. It's good, a lot of time in the ring. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's good. Yeah, because that way, you know, it, it in a way it would almost be, I think, not disappointing, but like say you did all that training and you stepped in and, and won in five seconds or ten seconds, and it's like, yeah, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. But it's like, but I didn't really get to learn anything, or you know, maybe yeah. you landed like you know a, a right cross, and then they yeah. went down. And you're like, yeah, well, I guess that's all I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I think, yeah, you know, if you had those hard three rounds, and then like you said, you know, you just, yeah, work hard, and then you get that win, and mm. it makes it. Wow. Yeah. Like obviously, a win's a win. Like, if I win in 10 seconds, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like, right. Yeah, work hard and then get that result in the end. Right. Uh, have you ever, did you feel like you were winning? Like, each fight, you're like, I'm ahead, I'm landing, I know that I'm probably going to get the decision here. Probably half and half. Like, there's bits that you feel like really comfortable with, and then I think they, you know, come back a bit more. Um, but yeah. Yes and no. In a couple of fights, I felt quite confident. Right. Um, Darwin, I thought I had lost. Oh. Yeah. And oh, everyone's really? like, how did you think you had lost? I'm like, I did not think I had that. <laughs> oh, okay. So I think that might have come in down to the listening to Carly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Minor detail. <laughs> yeah. So she was, yelling, she was yelling out. What was she yelling and you weren't listening to? Um, we Like I said, we were basic, so it was that one-two kick and... She was telling me what to do, and I was like nodding. I'm like, got it. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'll do that, and then not doing it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I should have my own thing in there that time. <laughs> uh, was it this? It was, you felt like, what I'm doing, I know this is effective regardless as to what the corner's saying, or it was just, you yeah. just were like, I'm just, I'm this, I'm in the moment. I, I'm not, I, I, I don't care what you say because I'm, I'm seeing something that you're not. Or Yeah, I think it was that I just wanted to do those certain things. I'm like, <laughs> I just want to like fight how I fight, like a fighter that's had a second amateur fight. I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm I, doing. I ain't done this before, Carly. <laughs> Pretty well. I'm an expert now. I don't need your help. <laughs> just stay in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, especially, like, comparing my first to the second fight. Your first fight so fast. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I felt like I threw so much. And then <laughs> going into Darwin, I didn't throw as much. I was like, I've lost. I didn't throw any. Like, uh, I didn't do enough. I've lost. That's right. probably the biggest difference. Yeah. 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 But there were more effective strikes that yes. you were throwing. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know, I guess that's the thing is like, that's probably what would come with experience and maturity yeah. um, of being comfortable in a fight situation where you – yeah, you do see that with a lot of amateur fights where yeah. it's just like... I think it's definitely that tire style coming yeah. through. You're like, you don't have to throw, you know, 50 punches. It's yeah. those effective, it's effective. Yeah, yeah, good technique and effective. Right. That'll get you those points. Yeah, and it only takes one, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you, have you like been rocked or rocked your opponent? Um, yeah, so Darwin, I got her on the count a couple of times. Um, you got her on the count? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, what was that feeling like? Were it you was like, so cool. I was like... <laughs> like yeah. I was like, oh, damn so, it. She's so, coming back. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so close. Um, I don't think I've... I've had a couple big hits, but nothing that's really... Nothing, um, nothing hurts me. Invincible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Headgear's like completely <laughs> spun. It's on the 180. <laughs> yeah, so like, I don't know which part is the fun. Through the ear hole. Through the ear hole. That's fantastic. Yeah, I don't think I've yeah had and like yeah anything too bad. So okay, well, ha- so far. <laughs> well, so when you got this girl on the count, was it like, what happened? Like what, what strikes? Um, that was a head kick. Ooh. Um, yeah, just pushed her back into the corner and then kept going. Um, and. Yeah, I think the other one was just a solid, solid cross to the face. Um, Ooh. 
Yeah. Bless. And so yeah. she's just obviously gone yeah. and got hurt by it and then had to cover up and move yeah. away yeah. and the ref's gone, hang on a minute, I'll give yeah. her an eight count here. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. And yeah. when she came back, we were like, oh, she's she's hurt. I'm going to go harder. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'll <laughs> finish you now. <laughs> yeah, now I know. <laughs> she was a bit taller. That was the Darwin fight? Yeah. And that. you thought you lost that one? Yeah. <laughs> Two eight counts. <laughs> Two eight counts? How do you lose that? <laughs> That's what I mean. I, like, I just threw so much more in the first one. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was, there was a lot going on up there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was stoked. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, for sure. And um, is it a ten eight round? Like, do they do ten nine rounds? Um, with the scoring in Muay Thai, is it like a ten it's ten like, point must system. It's like 40, it depends on the thing on the sanction. I think. Okay. Yes, every yeah. sanction is yeah. a little bit different. Right. So if you might if you get rocked or whatever, and they give you an eight count, you lose a point for that round. Is that? Does, I think it There's does. very a lot of confidence coming from <laughs> both of you there. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's this. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the rules. I just go and kick and punch people. <laughs> oh good. And anyone have you landed elbows? Like, I love the elbows. I think they're fantastic. Yeah. And um. Last fight, I was pretty stoked out. Elbow over the top to the back of the head. Ooh. Yeah, that she was went to town on no trading. <laughs> yeah, that, oh. that was fun. So. Nice. And yeah. when it landed, you're like, yes. I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was like on back, you know. <laughs> yeah, just like couple one after the other straight to the back of the head. Oh, right. <laughs> so. and everyone in the crowd was like, ah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard like um, like do you feel anything from the crowd atmosphere? Like if people are cheering, does it it spur you on or you don't even hear it at all? I don't really notice it at all. all right. My dad's always like, You can hear me. I'm like, I can't. He's like, No, you can hear me. <laughs> it's like whatever makes you happy. <laughs> yeah, you. But yes, it was all your advice. Yeah. <laughs> so when you went, Come on and yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That made oh. the difference. Oh, that last fight. So I like I just hear my corner. <laughs> All Carly could hear was my dad oh my <laughs> yelling, and I was like, "Oh, that's embarrassing!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was he yelling? Just anything. I think oh. it was like he was like, gro- growing up. He always called me Spanner, so he's just screaming that out. Spanner. Like, <laughs> 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 so you're just yelling that out and just anything. Just yelling Spanner <laughs> randomly. Like, Spanner. Spanner. <laughs> 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 Okay. So, cool. No, it's it's quite funny. Um, mum and dad normally they normally get seats quite close to the front, but <laughs> any fight if there's a spare so- spot right at the ring, he'll just go sit there. All oh, right. And, like it's someone else's seat. He'll be like, oh, can I just sit here? And <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they let him. Oh, well, yeah, fair enough. It's like that's my daughter fighting. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. But I'll fight you. Yeah, he's like, his seat's back there. And he's like, no, no, I want to sit. Here. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's quite clever, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. So. It was funny because um, with the Pride Fight Series, um, we were doing some filming and some interviews and stuff like that. And Dave, uh, who normally is here, who couldn't be here tonight, um, he was the ring announcer. And uh, so his seat was like, you know. Right on the ring. Right on the ring, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> with um, Carly's sister, what's her name? Alicia. Alicia, yes. So, um, but then, like, I sort of was crouched down next to him I don't know, tell him something. And he goes, do you know, if you want, do you want to sit here? He goes, it's really hot. Um, he goes, I'm, <laughs> I'm sweating like in this suit. Oh. He goes, there's a big fan over there. He goes, in between rounds, I'm just going to go stand next to that fan <laughs> for the rest of the night. Yeah. He goes, if you want to sit here. And I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it was, I was right next to the ring and it was so, so cool. Good. It was so cool. And like, you know, I could have reached out and grabbed, it did cross my mind. I could grab that person's <laughs> leg. <laughs> And when they were pressed against the ropes, like right they're like right, you know, above yeah. you. And it was like, this is freaking amazing. So, yeah, yeah we're very lucky to be able to do that. It was yeah. cool. <laughs> Did you, you fought on that night? Did you fight yeah, on that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I probably was there trying, uh, imagining grabbing your leg. <laughs> 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 well, and that was a, a decision win, obviously, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, if you're 4-0. Yeah, yeah. 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 What was that fight like with that one? Um, that one was a good fight. That's probably a good learning fight for me. Um, mm-hmm. So we had been working on the clinch, so getting in there a little bit more, which felt comfortable with. Um, but uh, since that fight, just a few things that I've picked up and worked on has yeah probably been quite handy that I did have that fight. So mm. um, being able to help my skills develop just in the way different opponents fight. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Was that fight three? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which what, what was your entrance music? I have Fortunate Son by um yeah Credence. Oh okay. Yeah. Cool. So I I don't I just love that song. Yeah. Just, Makes me happy. It's a good little vibe. I yeah. like it. I don't really care if no one else likes <laughs> no, it, but yeah. I have fun. So. Oh, as long as it gets yeah. Yeah, it gets you fired up. Or, yeah, you know, so yeah. it just, yeah, relaxes me. It's a good song. Just, yeah. Which one of the girls comes out to um, a Diane Word? Like, I swear it's one of your fighters. Diane Word, like, um, you know, the uh, South African sort of rap crazy. Uh, uh, I, I, this up. I, I should have thought of this before I asked I, the question. I, know, <laughs> I think that's Duff's song that you might It might be, be yeah. Hers is, yep. hers is... I love her song. It always reminds me of Tokyo Drift, her song. Um, yeah, it's it's the girl that's singing in, in yeah. the song. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I remember seeing that at Pride and then again at Apex, I think. Um, or it was one of, one of the other ones that had come up yeah. after that. And I was uh, like, oh, yeah, it would have been song. Pride and um, Muay Thai, SA Muay Thai League. Right. Yeah, because yeah. she fought on afterwards. Right. And I was like, oh, that song. I was yeah. like, oh, that, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's a good song. It's very much her. Yeah. Yeah, Great song. <laughs> yeah that's cool. What did, did you, what was your song when you came out? I can't Why remember can't we name. be friends? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we know I want to be friends. Though. <laughs> was it the Earth song by Michael Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> no, I never actually knew the name of it. Right. I just, it was on my playlist. Couldn't tell you what it's called. Really? I actually couldn't tell you what it's called. What sort of song was it? It's an upbeat like dance music. Song. Oh, oh yeah. okay. That's dance music. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. You should have guessed that. Right, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Every morning I get. Nice text messages from Carly going, oh. change the bloody music. Yeah, he's got <laughs> hardcore stuff on it for in the morning. I, like, that no. wasn't my choice. <laughs> I only had club music driving to work this morning at like 5.30. I was just bopping along. <laughs> yeah. It's good fun though. It, it gets is. you pumped up. It does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, like when I'm doing like an eight hour shift, um, like we've, we've just got SoundCloud, the app, and there's like, I don't know, 50 playlists on there. And it's, you just press play and then walk away. Because mm. trying to choose songs constantly is you know tiring yeah and it's like <laughs> then one of them might be, you know have ads in between or yeah. be a terrible instrumental version or you know slow down and you're like oh shit and then trying to change yeah. it and then <laughs> the, the 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 tablet they've got there is like from the 1940s <laughs> 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 well, it didn't even have them then but it's like you click you, you click next and then it's like it literally takes exactly. three minutes to go to the next thing, <laughs> like not not exaggerating. Uh-huh. So people go, "Oh, can you change it?" Or if the song is really bad, and it's like you're going, oh, "Stop, stop!" And it's like, <laughs> "Hurry up!" And there's this terrible, like, you know, <laughs> I think what was it the other day? We had that. Yeah, it was just crazy techno. Yeah, that just was. <laughs> but like really fast, and it was like horrible. <laughs> And, and uh, yeah, everyone's like, change the song. Yeah, like, I'm, working I'm trying. <laughs> it won't stop. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> but yeah, there's there's a big playlist. And sometimes people go, oh, I love what you put on today. And it's like, mm, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that was, but sure. And I'm not listening to it because I'm out the front and it's just playing yeah, in the gym. Yeah. And it's not as clear from where I am. But uh, yeah, and I've sort of been not listening to it. Uh, especially like that sort of music where you know after 15 20 minutes it sort of becomes in the background because it's yeah. not you know it's not like a melody it's like a, just a constant you know sound yeah. <laughs> constant yeah. you know aggressive beat in a way um but yeah people come out and they'll be like oh yeah that was a fantastic playlist and yeah what was the name of that thing and you're like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> i can look it up where <laughs> yeah well, a lot of people are like oh can i get a photo of the um the SoundCloud, whatever playlist that that was. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, well, this is what it was. It's Mighty Mouse's remix from, <laughs> you know, <laughs> cross uh, old school, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's like 30 words long, wasn't it? The one you brought oh. up. And you're like, oh, yeah, it's called, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was well, like it was 16 called. words it's long. A screenshot of it. And I was like, all right. So I put it on my SoundCloud. And then he asked me what it was like the next day. And I'm like, it's like a novel. Yeah, it was. It was yeah, like 16 words yeah. long for the title of it. It's like music, pump up, dance, <laughs> all the... Oh, Just a bit of a everything. Bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah as, the, as the title, I'm like... Oh. <laughs> so he's there for 10 topics. minutes typing it. Yeah, yeah. you press the letter and then you got to wait 30 seconds for that letter to come up. You're like, oh, come on. <laughs> so, yeah. Sometimes it, like sometimes I will just plug it, my phone in because it's like I'm sick of this stupid thing not working and then, yeah, yeah if... 
one of the playlists, I got to find out which one it is because I need to delete it. It has at the end that frozen let it go song. <laughs> and I hear that and I'll be like, no. <laughs> no, not again. I heard it the other day, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that song because my kids have watched Fro- I've watched Frozen about a million times. Not not deliberately. I don't want to watch it, but it's on. That and that <laughs> song is on and then it's on at work and it's like, no. And I want to lift weights when I'm listening to when you let it go. Let it go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I have to identify. It's like, which one is it? But it's at the end and then yeah. like three hours long. So it's like, yeah. But when yeah. it pops up next time, I'll find it. Get onto that. I'll get it. Your reactions, remember? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, the sheep. I'll have a practice that's with the, the sheep dash game. <laughs> You'll be fine tomorrow. Be <laughs> oh, <laughs> <I don't doubt. laughs> yeah. was, practicing. Today was arm wrestling. That, that was, was the fun one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Put in the arm wrestling table. Because one of the guys, he came along to Apex and he'd, he'd come along the year before as well one of the guys from the gym um, and the year before I'd said oh if you could turn up you know um, maybe I'll get a chance to have a go on the table with you and he's like oh yeah cool you know oh, I'll fucking I'll smash you like, just that's fun you know I'll kick your ass I'm like yeah cool. sure <laughs> <laughs> sure you will <laughs> uh, but uh, when he he came along like uh, I was refereeing or I was doing something or I was running you know because I, I, I run the arm wrestling event so it was like i'm flat out busy uh and so i saw him and i said hey and like waved and then he was there for maybe half an hour and then he left uh, i didn't get a chance to even talk to him um but then this year same deal like he came along and he was there maybe 45 minutes and but i was refereeing like i was literally refereeing yeah. the matches i couldn't like get away so each morning whenever he comes in um it's like you know oh we're gonna arm wrestle and I, I i always have a table in my car and so I'm like, I've got a table here. And he's like, oh, what? And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, I'm like, I'll oh, just set it up. He's like, oh, no, maybe I'm you know, kind of rush for work. And oh. so, yeah. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this has been going for months. And so I was like, screw it. Like last night. I'm oh, sorry, it was today. <laughs> Yesterday. Because <laughs> I, I don't do nights. It's really, my days are all over the place. Yeah. It was today, but it, it was yesterday for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was like, I'm just going to set it up. And then like I did and I had it sitting there for like four hours. <laughs> and then like, every person that walked in, I'm like, is that him? No. Oh, okay. And then <laughs> I was talking. Yeah, I was. And I was, then I was talking to, to somebody. I was, I was explaining some supplement thing. And then like he's come in and I was like, Drop the. I was like, oh, I've got to go. And oh I'm like, God. You, <laughs> I have the, I'm the, I'm the table. And he's like, What? And I'm like, just Get over here. And he's like, Oh, I'm okay. And <laughs> so, yeah, I showed him how to do it and how to lose. <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah. How should not do it? <laughs> yeah. Because it was, I don't know, 4.30 in the morning and it was freezing cold. <laughs> Yeah. His wrist is kind of like, oh. <laughs> not broken, but like you know that crack yeah. sound. Where you, and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> oh no, it's just because it's cold. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like one of those things your bodies do. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. We're just warming up. Yeah, one of the guys at the club, his wrist does this really weird, like clicking thing, and it's like it 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 feels like his wrist is just broken. But he, it's not, it's, I don't know, he, he's some joint thing that yeah. he's got. And because you'll be pulling or he'll be pulling against you and you're trying to resist. And then it's like his wrist goes like, and you're oh. like, oh. And he's like, no, it's fine. It's fine. And it's like, um, all right. Oh, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> but it does every time you go against him and you sort of, off. it does. Yeah. <laughs> <Yuck>. yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. I don't know what it is. But maybe it's just the way his wrist is. I don't know, under pressure, it just it clicks in a way and it's like, oh. yeah. <laughs> That can't be good though. Well, well it's not my wrist, so I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> but he, he's just like, oh, it, no, it's fine, it's fine. So, oh. okay. Yeah. He knows best. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so have, you, have you arm wrestled before? Um, no, or like, yeah, everyone's asked. Right, in a way, yeah. yeah not really. Not on the, not on the table, <laughs> no. yeah. No, but, no. No, in his way. Right. <laughs> no. Carly had a go this morning. I did. Yeah. <laughs> She's starting to pick up the techniques. It's yeah, done quite it's, well. It's taken me a few times. Though. Oh, it takes. I yeah. think. I think I'll stick to more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I oh, know Carly Gangel did have a go she as well. A, She's a really strong. Yeah. Her wrists mm. wrists are crazy strong. Mm. It was surprising actually. <laughs> it was like, oh, wow. Well. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I was not expecting. It was like five times stronger than I was expecting. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. Because, like, you know, same deal. I, I always say the same thing. I'm like, um, I'm just going to hold. And yeah. I'm not going to pin you. Like, you just do your thing, and then we'll just see what you're doing, and mm-hmm. we'll correct it, and you can work technique and stuff like that. And then I was like, okay, yeah, cool. And she's jumped on. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Give a bit of resistance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Like three quarters of the way down of getting a pin on me. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, damn, I have to really try here. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and that was yeah. right. And I think is she no, injured right. on the left. No, oh, it was on the left. left because they were right. injured the right way. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The, the exact same story, but this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She is strong though, because I did it after. Right. Yeah, she's she's super strong. Yeah, Riz especially. Mm. You can always tell when somebody has done some sort of either a lot of grappling yep. or they do a physical job, like a labor type job. And you can feel it instantly. In head, like yeah. yeah, in their wrist. Like as soon as you grab hold and like they start applying pressure, it's like eh. <laughs> <laughs> You've done you do before. something. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> They're like, oh, I'm a brute. Like, like, yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> but it's like the office worker is the opposite. You can just yeah. be like, yeah, they don't do a lot of anything. <laughs> uh, strong fingers from typing. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but you would have, you know, a lot of, well, the pad holding is a lot of strength. You yeah. Know, that thing that surprises a lot of people, like if, if you <laughs> said to anyone, I just hold these pads for a minute. And you know you've kicked it with a high kick. It's like, oh, like your yeah. your forearm yeah. bones feel it. It's yeah, like because oh. <laughs> yeah. you think, oh yeah, it's a big thick pad that surely will take all the impact. And it's like new. No, it's <laughs> yeah, is that something you had to develop over a, like a long period of time to be able to handle the, the different seat kicks and stuff? Yeah, mm, yeah. definitely for different people like i held for the guy fighters as well right I remember there was one fighter that he, one of them was like yep go like carly will hold them and he's like she won't be able and i was like just do it oh god and i was like put your power in and he did it and he's like oh <laughs> oh you <laughs> held was, it he was very surprised yeah. okay yeah i, held oh, it. I thought know. it was gonna be the opposite story no. that you went flying across the room no no <laughs> i held my ground and held it like all for him oh nice did you feel the difference in power like it was like oh this is quite yeah, well, everyone's got different power. Like, everyone, I have to hold differently for everyone. Right. So, it's, yeah, everyone's got different power. Where they hit's a bit different. Left it a bit lower, a bit higher. Do you wear that body pad suit thing? Yeah. yeah. Or a belly pad. Can you pretend that you do? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Did, but you've got one? Darren's got one, yeah. Do you have one? <laughs> no, I do not have one. I've a belly pad. Oh. <laughs> oh, but you do have a belly pad I'm thing. A belly pad. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Is that... um? Like when people are striking for like knees or, you know, kicks yeah, and... knees, kicks. It's right. easier to hit the pads when you're like kicking, kneeing, everything like that. Sometimes I won't even hold the pad there. I'll make them knee my um, belly pad. Right. Is it big enough that you wouldn't get hit in the chest or in the side of the ribs? Or it's like if somebody misses <laughs> or doesn't get it quite on, you're going to well, cop it? <laughs> if they miss and go a bit higher, then yeah. I it's like, ah! might cop it. <laughs> but it like covers that there to there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's big enough. Yeah. Is it big thick? Enough. Right. Yeah. Mine's new, so it's all nice and crisp. Oh, ah. no, not crisp anymore because it's been worn in a bit. <laughs> right. That's right. That would be like, but somebody's landing a, a kick to that. You still going to feel that impact, though. You do. You right. feel it, like, because it kind of goes into your stomach as well as, like, the bottom of your forearms. Yeah. It just depends on where they kick. Were you, like, the first time you put it on, mm. were you a bit like, mm, I don't know, this is going to be any good? Uh, I got used to it pretty quickly. No, nah, I'm awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I <didn't> say that. <laughs> Uh, no, you get used to it pretty quickly. Has anyone sort of missed massively and just clocked you in the head or anything? Not me, but other people, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. <laughs> have you heard, like, if you say you're holding and the, have the, the pads hit you in the face? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've punched myself in the face multiple times by that. <laughs> it, yeah, it happens. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was doing boxing for a little while and one of the warm-up drills is uh, that you would throw a jab um, and they would throw a jab. You'd catch their jab, though, and they would catch yours. So you're just moving and yep. throwing a jab, and then catching. And fuck, the amount of times my own hand would <laughs> hit me in the face. 
It's weird. You don't really expect it no, you because don't. you know you're covering up and you're like, oh, I'm all right out here, and then it you know <laughs> it hits and it's a like smack. You just punch your own face. Yeah. It's like oh, can't blame anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. But there's a there's definitely a skill set in pad holding though. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you choose Carly over a lot of people. Apparently, she's quite the 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 oh. number one go to <laughs> pad holder for the girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Between, yeah, both Carly's, um, they're, they're up there. Right. <laughs> there's, it, there is, there's an art to holding yeah. pads. Like, you get some people, like, and you appreciate everyone that holds pads right. for you, but sometimes you're like, no, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. It's <laughs> like so one, two, face. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's just the angles and, yeah, how you hold it. I think the biggest one is lots of people forget to eat keep the pads close to the body so they're like, oh, yeah, I'll catch it out mm. here. And then – or they go like that. Yeah, it's <laughs> not quite right. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. So. With, um, like, catching hooks, uh, do you get pulled? Like, I found that a bit. Like, the, it would rip, like – Yeah, yeah I kind of go, like, go against, against it. it. Yeah. Right. So you give them pressure at the same time. Yeah. 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 I almost, when I'm teaching people how to hold pads, uh, especially, like, your hooks and things like that, just – I tell them, I'm like, just pretend you're throwing the hook as well. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, giving back. And you're literally doing the same footwork yep. as they go to throw their hook. You're throwing, you're twisting your hips, your shoulders, your feet. Mm. So, it's, yeah. Yeah. And that you're almost throwing it, but not to the, obviously that pace and, yeah. Um, yeah, as heavy as they are. Right. Have you had somebody hold and you're just like, you're terrible at holding them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like. <laughs> <laughs> that's a yes <laughs> that's a polite yes i'm just i'm big on pad holding like i'll walk around the class like when i'm helping yeah, and definitely. do you have your critique. head up like this like meh. no i just i'm just like helping people because I, I know what it's like i think the biggest thing like sometimes teaching people how to hold the pads is forgotten especially for kids yeah, yeah um like i used to teach boxing when i was back in claire and you know making sure people keep everything within their body frame so they're not going to hurt themselves is a big like yeah. a big thing it's just mm. like you just don't want to be pushed out here like you said yeah, you're hurt your your arms out yeah. them out. It's great. Uh, <laughs> keep everything within your body frame and you're pretty safe yeah, yeah. how long have you because you you've sort of that's your thing now you know it seems to be you, yeah. i can hear the uh, pride in the voice yeah, of I like, like I, I am the pad holder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just like, I get a lot out of it. Right. Like for these guys. What do you get out of it? <laughs> I don't know. Pushing them to their death. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just get a lot out of We appreciate helping, it. Helping them and yeah. Yeah. seeing them go further with it. No. Yeah. And I, it, I mean, there is a skill in of itself in terms of knowing what combinations that you know, in terms of like how much energy they're expending and whether they're getting tired and, you know, you know, what sort of combos you want them to do or what strikes you want to... It's like, are you leading the the calls of what strikes need to be thrown or... Yeah, yeah always. Just like, I don't even have to say anything. They all know what I... I just have to put the pad there and they know exactly what I'm asking. Okay. It's that, like, time and effort that mm. you've put into us that you know our style but it can still like control what we're doing yeah. but you're also letting us do what we want at the same time if that mm. makes sense like it just yeah works really well okay yeah how do you how do you hold against a teep but you just is that a body pad thing either way like you can hold the pad there and then just do it but i normally just yeah belly pad right go for it okay yeah. so you don't throw it one to the head or anything like that and you can't really block it i guess nah. okay yeah is, is there any sort of really complex combos that you've come up with but like you know i don't know eight strikes or something <laughs> no nah, i'm very much like a three to four but yeah. i will keep pushing like i'll just keep them going until i see that they're yeah. failing off a bit and i'm like all right let's just stop <laughs> let's do some tips <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah you'll do yeah combos consecutive like with no rest mm. Um, but they won't be like <laughs> twenty punches long. It's, yeah, you yeah. Know, it's like yeah, three the three. same four, but repeated. Yeah, no right. rest. Like just keep going max effort, and then yeah, like you said, as soon as we start slowing down, it's like okay, now I'll throw a TV in, yeah. push her, push her away, and then we'll, <laughs> then we'll Let catch up. Something yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you, Do you ever throw in like the clinch? Like, say you throw a couple of strikes, grab the clinch, and then you know. I encourage them to do it if that's what they want to do. Like. Yeah, she, um, Hannah actually does it quite a bit with me. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, 
so whatever I feel comfortable with. And yep. sometimes, yeah, Carly would just be like, I'll hold the pads here and just do, do what you want, um, which is really handy because then that's when you start, things start to flow, like you're not worrying about, oh, this is the combo. You just, what comes naturally starts to come out in the pads and then mm. obviously transitions into the ring. Yeah. What are those, like I see it a lot with Muay Thai training is those just repeated kicks <laughs> and it's like they'll be holding and it's like 100 kicks in a row <laughs> and it's like smack 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 um that is it's a thing it's a conditioning thing yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. it's painful and I, i'm not great at them <laughs> we do a pyramid last night one to ten and then back down to one just like kicks consecutive that was not fun yeah yeah it looks hard it was crazy <laughs> difficult it's like even when you go up to five and back down like eight it killed you. Yeah. Oh, like right. Just kick after kick after kick. Yeah. And yeah. As a pad holder as well, do you feel that? Depends. Right. Like most... If you're yeah. holding right, you're pretty safe. Yeah, if you're holding right, yeah, you're pretty all right. But <laughs> it, Getting it kicked across the room. <laughs> but I guess if you're holding for a lot of pad rounds, yeah, yeah, you do start to feel it. Right. But well, and this time we need mm. to take a break because I am getting yeah, stuck. I am tired. <laughs> These pads are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I don't stop that with them. But yeah. I used to that with, with boxing, um, we used to do a thing where you'd be with a partner, you'd have a heavy bag and it'd be like, okay, 30 seconds as, like, as fast as you can go while the other person holds the bag mm. and then after 30 seconds, you know, the other thing beeps and then the, the other person used to swap. Yeah. But the 30 seconds when you're holding the bag, you're just leaning against yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then they're, they're punching it and the but bag is like, like hitting you in the <laughs> face. And it's like, I don't care. I just need to breathe. <laughs> and it's like you get smacked by this bag. <laughs> yeah, literally just holding on to it, like leaning on it. it. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> yeah, it's always a fun, funny kind of feeling when you got that level of fatigue and just things that just don't bother you. You know, I don't care. I'm yeah, good. <laughs> trying to hide that you're like buggered from That's someone it. or like you'll be clinching Carly's watching and you're like just hugging each other <laughs> 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 yeah. no, that's that's one of the weird things, isn't it? Where it's like you've got that physicality, especially if it's somebody you don't know very oh. well. <laughs> it's like I am literally hugging this that's person it. I've never met. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know I'm it, it'd be a bit different. Yeah. yeah. Up close and personal, that's, that's for sure. Yeah. Well it's almost like that with the opponent as well though, isn't it? Because you'd be you'd know them like intimately after a fight in terms mm. of like you're both in a, a situation where I mean you're trying to physically dominate each other and you know you're trying to um you know, land your, your shots and and physically you know overwhelm them in a way but there are those moments where you will feel they're tired or you're tired and it's like okay we're, we're both resting at this point but you know <laughs> you, <stop>. right? <laughs> even though you're a, like enemies it's in a, in a sense it's like yeah. but then after the fact it's like no one's gonna know that person as well as you know them in that moment <laughs> because yeah, you saw them true. at their base like level yeah. you know yeah. yeah it's it's an interesting aspect to it i think a lot of people don't sort of cotton on to that you know you're seeing somebody in their most raw form yeah. and you know the, there's no secrets in that ring it's yeah, like I, mean, you, I think all everything on the yeah you know everything's exposed in there yeah. so that's right yeah, who you are, you know, outside of the ring you can act like, you know, the, the toughest person in the world or, you know, you might be rich or you might be whatever or, you know, all these, like, outside factors. But in that ring, in that when that bell goes, it doesn't matter. Yeah. None of it matters. Yeah. It's yeah. like you're fighting for your life here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I say just push through. That's it. Absolutely. Yeah, have you had, like, some rivalry going into a fight or are you – do you know these people well or you just – you don't know anything about them but you might have met them once or something? Um, my, yeah, recent fights were rematches but we get along great right. outside of the ring. Yeah. Um, I don't really try and stalk my opponents or anything like that. Yeah. I, I'm – like I said, I want to go in there and focus on what I do and whatever happens, happens. Mm. But, yeah. Yeah. It does seem to be with Muay Thai there's a very high level of respect mm-hmm. between com- – um, combatants it doesn't seem to be like much of a trash talking element at all that i've seen from muay thai uh, it's definitely a, you know an opposite of what you'd see in like mma mm. where that can be a real 
aspect, you know, the psychological advantage or whatever yeah. of trash talking your opponent and getting yeah. them fired up and getting that aggression, you know, leading. And sometimes it's more interesting than the actual fight, you <laughs> know, seeing the trash talk uh, and build up. But yeah, there's definitely seems to be a lot more tradition or respect yeah. or that goes into Muay Thai. Um, yeah. Have you found like with whenever I watch the Thai version, the Thai version of <laughs> Muay Thai, the original, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, their, their style seems to be, so say there's three rounds. The first round's very slow yeah. and then they pick it up in the second and then by the third, that last half of the third round, it's like mayhem. Yeah. <laughs> is, yeah. is that an agreed upon, this is what we do or it's just... It's just how it is. Right. Just, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure how it came about. Just but. reading, yeah, you know, that first round, figuring out what your Picking opponent's doing, yeah, mm. and then working on those things, breaking them down mm. and, yeah, going for it. Mm. Just, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fighters in Australia that do that as well. Right. Like very Thai style. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I, I love it. I do? Yeah. I think it's to do with the betting. You do, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I think the people are betting on the fights and then they deliberately slow it down in the first round oh. to push it through yeah. and then they'll pick it up to get the excitement going. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I think it might have stemmed from that. But yeah, but yeah. 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 It's an interesting aspect. But then I always think, like, why doesn't somebody just do the opposite and just come out and go really like crazy in the first <laughs> minute? Because the other dude's not going to expect it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Some would though. There would be some that like say if a Thai and a foreigner or something. Right, yeah. Or it yeah, might turn out like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's sort of disappointing, well not disappointing, but it's sort of strange in a way that the, the money side of it in Thailand is so little like for the amount that they yeah. fight. Yeah, and that's why they're having like two or three fights a week because <laughs> they're getting maybe 30 bucks or something yeah. per fight. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely a different world and, and that's why you get Muay Thai fighters that have 600 fights under their resume, you it's know. their way to live, some it's of them. Like, yeah. So yeah, 600 yeah. fights and they're 14 years old. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not uncommon though. <laughs> oh, that's it, yeah. Uh, when you went over the camp that you fought at, mm. um, which one was that? Uh, Saman Muay Thai. John? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what was it? Saman Muay Thai. Okay. Yeah. It's that. Uh, with Thailand, is there, there's like a northern, southern region, uh, or is it like the, this This city, you know, like say Bangkok has, yeah. you know, um, these certain gyms and they uh, have a rivalry with another area, or is it that, like, why was it that, that one that you went to? Well, um, like, the Gangel family all know the trainer from there, from Carly. I'm um, training with him from another gym when she was fighting back there. Yeah. Um. So he made he started his own gym with the family. Okay. And we just started going there. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's the story. <laughs> story. <laughs> um, Saman's gyms Koh Samui. So yeah. So ah. that's a little island. It's not Outside Bangkok. Of, yeah. Okay. Not, yeah. yeah. Right. But nice place. It's beautiful. It yeah. is. Uh. I love that place. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going back? Uh, hopefully next year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. uh, for, a, for another training camp or just because it's like, well, I guess if you guys are all going together, it's like a holiday training camp. I'll train, yeah. I'll train as well, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll holiday this I've time. only been <laughs> over there once and that was a holiday. Okay. It, it was so you'll be, be training, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first time I went, I just <laughs> trained in the morning. So I was like, oh, to, like, right. like, first time getting into it. But yeah. like when they did their four hours, I was on the beach. I was training <laughs> in the afternoon. You were so. waving from the beach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this time I'll around, I'm being very different. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. No, was this, I think I remember you telling me about this, mm. and you were like, "Yeah, Hannah was there, but she kept sneaking away from her family to come and train or something." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah a couple mornings, everyone's like, "Just lying." I'm like, nah, "Oh yeah." <laughs> and then, yeah, they're like, "Oh, we'll go for a run." I was like, "Sounds good." I was like, "I'll meet you at the gym." We ran back to where I was staying. It's like a seven k run for the warm up. I was like, "This is wow. this yeah, is very big." I was, <laughs> I was like, "You guys could have just picked me up." <laughs> I could have just done that way. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be big runs in the morning. Yeah, yeah, it was, and it was warm up. It was that was the warm up. Yep, that's good. <laughs> Two months is crazy. I think and then we skipped for half an hour. What? Yeah, half an hour. Yep. Yeah. My God. And you can't, like, you start skipping, but your time doesn't start until everyone's back from the run. Yeah. Uh, Some people might have been, like, 
skipping for 40 minutes. Oh, my off. God. Yeah. And then what's after that? What do you do? Then the you start. Yep. That's uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so normally you'd get a, one, a trainer each. Okay. Like if they've got enough there, you'd get a trainer each to take you on pads. Then you'd go on the bag after. Right. Okay. Mm. In the <laughs> afternoons, you're just sparring. Nothing from memory. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, yeah. So you're going to get there. If you're out of shape, you're screwed. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's yeah. You just gotta have fun with it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got to skip until everyone gets back. So if there's somebody that's like way out of shape, everyone's gonna hate them. <laughs> they, if you don't like, not everyone needs to run. Okay. So there would probably be a new group of us that did, and then the other ones that just come and start skipping. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can you come right like at the very last minute? I don't know. <laughs> last right. minute of training. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk in as oh, like yeah. training's about to finish That's and be it. like, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Hard session to today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there'd be like a trick session and they start training again. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh no. You're like in the ring. Here we yeah, go. Body it. shots. Five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Uh, have you copped like uh, in training or anything where you've just gone, oh, that was, you've really got me there. Yeah. Um, I need to sit down for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I've been bent over, I've been curled over a few times. <laughs> yeah. Body shots? Yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah, the body shots or rib kicks. Yeah. Yeah, <sighs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> what about like a leg kick that's, you know, just hit the right spot and. Corky. Yeah. Yeah, that would get you. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing that stops. I don't think they stop. No, it doesn't stop I think the mentality is like we're strong and not stop. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and right. then like you'll go home and like kill up. And you won't be able to move. I ice bath all the time. Everyone's like, oh, I'm going to go home. I'm like, I'm just going to get two bags of ice and an ice bath for like 30 minutes now. Yeah, <laughs> so. ice bath. Oh, I haven't tried that yet. Like, what do people at the I gym do it are into all the time. it? Yeah, I've done it a couple of times. Yeah, What's I that like first it. bit getting in? That looks Takes sucks. your breath away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like the first 10 seconds and then, and then it's kind of go numb. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, you just stop feeling. That's it. <laughs> feel your face, that's it. Yeah. How is it? You fill the bath with like say half of cold water, fill it with ice and then get somebody else to get in while you go and relax. Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that'd be nice. Is that a love-hate relationship there? Oh, yeah, right. not great. Like, is so it, beneficial. But yeah. yeah. Do you, have you noticed like that it's really helped with yeah. – it's inflammation reduction, is that what? Yeah. yeah. Okay. A lot right. of bruising and stuff. I did it with, when I bruised a lot when I first started. Mm. Mm. Now you're impenetrable. You're just like, no matter what, you're I fine. bruised very easily. Because <laughs> 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 when I first started, my legs were covered in bruises. Yeah. Right. I'd never kicked anything before. Yeah, yeah. So it was just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bad. How would you say your shin conditioning is now? Like you oh, could, it's a lot better now. Right. Yeah. But if you went like a real hard session, say three hours, a lot of kicks – You'd be feeling it by the end, or you'd still be pretty comfortable. No, I'd feel it like my right. calves when I kick a lot. My calves feel it. Right, so my shins are fine. It's just my calves. All right. Yeah, shins. My shins are fine. Mine are lumpy. Yeah, you all. Oh. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> lumpy. <laughs> they are. Oh god. <laughs> just, yeah, just from the last fight and a couple other fights, it's just you rub up the shin and it's fluid and it just moves around. Oh, and it's, it? Yeah. Oh, it's, like a oh. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your condition, like with your shins, like you could easily go through and you don't feel it anymore or you would get to a point where you're like, now it's starting to hurt. Uh, through the fight? Oh, through fights or through, say, training sessions? Um, No, it's pretty like, like you said, you get used to it. It's all that conditioning, like all those kicks you see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's just that conditioning. Um, Unless you kick wrong, then you feel Ooh. it. Yeah, so if like, yeah, yeah. kick wrong or... Kick somebody's knee, break yeah, your Yeah, shin on shin. Yeah, well. yeah. It's never happened ever. <laughs> Not ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, the recovery is the biggest thing. So yeah, yeah. Just ice on them if you need to. But you kick somebody in the elbow. It's always, oh. yeah, always fun with your like toes or your, you know, your foot. The top of your foot. Oh. <laughs> the top of the foot, yeah. It's painful. It's, yep. Yeah. Ugh. Not fun. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> Even kicking the bag wrong and kicking it with the top of your foot, bruises like that. Oh, right. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's yeah, but you like think. when you throw a hook into a heavy bag and your wrist collapses, do you get that? And you're like, Ugh! and it's, oh, that freaking hurts. Like, <laughs> I think you do it once and you're like, I'm not doing that again. It. You make sure you, you right. throw the punches That's properly. It. Yeah. <laughs> like having wraps helps that as well. Yeah. Right. It won't actually lower me in the ring. Yeah. But you've, you you know the pain of talking. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I've done it. I've definitely done it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm really going to give it this one. And then it's like the bag is swinging or whatever. And you just yep. miss time. And it's like, oh, God. Yep. That really hurts. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, it's definitely a thing. <laughs> but, yeah. So career-wise, looking for – this is something you want to go professional with. You're looking at as many fights as you can – Maybe something where you might be working towards a championship or, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, just yeah, continue on the way the way we're going. Um, keep looking for challenges as well. So pushing myself and yeah, hopefully come up against you know some great fighters as well and yeah, yeah learn off of them. Learn yeah, and just see how far we can go with yeah. it. Is is there like a belt or something that you're trying to target? Um, I would like to work to probably towards a state belt. Um. But yeah, it's just going along for the journey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What so. It, so state belt. So there's a title holder. Title holder at the moment is that with their same more tightly? Um, I don't know who they're with actually, to be honest. Um, okay. but yeah. So each state has their holders, and okay. then obviously you have the national one as well. Um, but yeah, just working towards that. It'd be kind of cool to. See, like obviously Muay Thai is in the Olympics now, so oh, that would yeah. be kind That'd of be cool. cool. That right. would be. Yeah, I was actually talking about that on the weekend with my cousin. Right. Um, I don't know if I'd ever get there, but that'd be, yeah, yeah. something cool to work towards. So that's in 2024 is the next one, I'm guessing. Um, it's every four years, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> I, it's a, where is the next Olympics? Is that Probably in two years, I'd say. Yeah, I think they had the... Well, there was the 2000 in Sydney. I always bank it off of that. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, and then every four years. So they would have had a 2021. Yeah, okay. And then so 2024 would be the next. I don't know where it yeah. is, but yeah, it's probably so. Antarctica for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it would be there that soon, but it'd be cool. Like, yeah. it's not just for, you know, not just for myself, but for the whole Muay Thai community. Mm. Getting into the Olympics is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. So as a sport in itself. Big step. Is yeah. this the first time they've done it, or did they do yeah, it? Yeah, no, um, last year it came into yeah. the okay. Olympics, yeah, so it's oh, really right. new. Um, yeah, big step for Muay Thai. Oh, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, that's cool. I didn't realise they'd gotten in. Yeah. yeah so nice. Very new. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so maybe a gold medal in the future. Yeah, hey. I think I think that's, a, that's where I would like to oh, work right. towards, yeah. Yeah, it's probably a good time frame as well, because, you know, if it, with the 2024... Uh, I think they usually at by the end of the year, so it might be September or something that the Olympics actually happen. So it's yeah, probably three years Ooh. from <laughs> now. Um, yeah, it might be quite a decent amount if you've got one year in of actual competition. Yeah. Competition four and zero at the moment. So you add another three years to that. Yeah. It's like well. <laughs> Yeah. Keep working. Who knows where you'll be at? <laughs> yeah. I wonder how they do – any idea of how they do selection, like Olympic selection? Well, you've got your yeah, Australian team. I would say yeah. they'd work off of that some. Right. Yeah. yeah. How are you getting to the Australian team? Whether it's like the champions from each state and they do qualifications or something. That would have to be something. Maybe it's like an, yeah. a, a 12-man all-in brawl. <laughs> <laughs> Eliminator. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever gets thrown over the top rope That's is it. out. <laughs> And then the Undertaker comes out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm silly. Your imagination. Yeah. <laughs> you get a chair. You need yeah. <laughs> fireworks. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But, no, that'd be that'd be yeah quite a good goal to go for. I, I didn't know that was in the Olympics. So that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so maybe a, a title, uh, and then pushing towards that in the future. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Push. Ourselves, yeah. see how far we can go. <laughs> yeah. Do you think Carly will ever get back into it? Um, she loves it. Like the sport, like that's how well. It'll so. be. It'll be a lot. Yeah. 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 She's it's, always it's gonna her. be involved with it. But yeah. I mean, in terms of competing again. I reckon she will. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, uh, is there an announcement you make? <laughs> 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 On her behalf. I think I've been saying for like the last year. I like she'll like train, and I'm like you're fighting, and then it'll be like six months. <laughs> I'm like, you, you went for a run. She's <laughs> like, just because I went for a run doesn't mean I'm fighting. I'm like, nah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you went for a run or <laughs> whatever. It would be hard to stay away from it. And she's so young as well. Yeah. So it's like, you know. But it's like, even, you know, for people that don't compete, like, 
you know, like you might train four times, five times a week purely for the fitness and like you just, you know, you love it. Um, it. You know, you don't have to be competing to train, so, which is it. probably a really good <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> You must. <laughs> <laughs> you do this. So, every day I'm like, so when are you fighting again? Yeah. You're like, I'm not going to. So when are you fighting again? <laughs> so when was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if the opportunity presented itself, would you? Oh, That's a yes. <laughs> it's not a no, but it's if my body would hold up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't, I don't mm. know. <laughs> would you prefer to fight with headgear? No. No. No, no protection. Right. All in. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. But it's yeah. A, yeah. It's. Is there anyone that's like, oh, I, I'm definitely like, I prefer, I like the fact that there's headgear or protection, or is it just oh, like, no. nah, everyone hates the the head, like stupid headgear. Yeah. I can't say I've ever. Can't someone say they like yeah. it. Yeah. Right. yeah. But I don't know. They, some might prefer it. Some might not. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone who does, you just hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Each to their own. <laughs> You're like, headgear, get out. Yeah, <laughs> leave now. So <laughs> walk, they're walking, they're like, where's the headgear? You're like, yeah, it's out the exit door. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the car park. <laughs> it's in your car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. What's, what's Paul's set up like? It, is it, I haven't been there, but I drive past it all the time and go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> yeah. I go, oh, there it is. <laughs> Every yeah. single time. Oh. There it is. <laughs> You've got the big um, open area out the front, so all your main classes, um, their karate as well, that's all out the front. And then, yeah, you got a little fight room out the back, so um, well, it's probably, like, there's a full ring in there, and mm. then... A sauna as well. Yeah. So a nice. sauna in the ring. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You've got to fight in the sauna. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good way to cut. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, it's a new thing. <laughs> you know, they have like big gram yoga where it's like, you know, they'll have like a really hot room and where they do yoga. You could do that with Muay Thai. Oh, why not? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be safer, way safer. Well, why not? Just like Thailand. <laughs> it's just like being in Thailand. It would actually, yeah. Because, yeah, well, they, I mean, that's why they do all their fights at night, probably for convenience factor. The fact oh, well, it's yeah, not like so. 45 <laughs> degrees. Yeah, it would be hard during the day, that's for sure. All right. So, Koh Samui. It's a what? So is that people going there for like a a tourist holiday? It's a holiday destination, yeah, but they yeah. also have Muay Thai there. Yep. Right. Yeah, Koh Samui, like you know, you compare it to Phuket and places like that. There. So quiet. Yeah, there. You know, you hear Phuket and everyone's going there for holidays. It is um, t- uh, Koh Samui is definitely a holiday destination, but it's just not as full on. It's not. It's tiny. a bit more local. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely more local is probably the way to describe definitely. it. Right. You've just got. Normal Thai life happening, you know. Mm. You have a f- few big um, hotels, things like that, but it's very, very laid back. Right, and as compared to say Bangkok or something, where it's just flat out yeah. crazy people everywhere. Yeah. You try to train in a gym, it's just packed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, it's a, like home vibe. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Trainers are nice, friendly. Yeah. Right. You know, I guess if you already have a, a relationship in terms of yeah. like Carla, who knows them and all yeah. that. Yeah. Ah, and it it definitely feels like your group is very uh, like a little family in a way. <laughs> you all know is. each other. <laughs> you all sort of have a very like we close. Just spend so much time together. Yeah, get to know each other in and out. And mm, yeah, it. relying on each other in yeah. in very um, physically demanding situations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Things if you if you go wrong or things go wrong, like if, if you've got somebody who's just a complete tool, it's like, well, yeah. you, you're putting my safety at, in jeopardy here. That's it. Right. And yeah. I think like you said before, you know, when you're in the ring, you're really vulnerable. And same thing at training. Everyone sees that, so everyone's got your back. And Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 Uh, That's great. Did you expect that going in to like w- when you went to boards or um, when you got into Muay Thai? I think like everyone sets that tone. Um being a part of the club before it was Muay Thai, um, you sort of seen that from the outside, and then when you know you get invited to go train and things like that, yeah, you just instantly go, oh yeah, this is what it's like. That yeah, tone is set straight away. So it is very much a welcoming, welcoming gym there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fun, fun atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, good trainers, good people around. Everyone just has the same values, I think. Yeah, 
like very like minded people. Right. Love, yeah. yeah. Have you had people that are the opposite that they have come in and then they go out pretty quick? Like they only last yeah. a month or two and it's yeah. like. Yeah, they're just not our people. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. like you can, yeah, you can sense what's going on in the yeah. club and some people just want to train hard, <laughs> probably hurt people. Yeah. And yeah. They don't, they're you, not ones that last. Like. Yeah, and you don't see them last very long. Right. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you step it up against them in a way where it's like, oh, you want to go hard, then we'll go hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I probably you get it inspiring and, yeah. you know, at the start of the round, you'd be like, how much sparring you've done? Sort of, you know, work out where you're going to sit and they go to town. It's like, <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> two can play this game. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, so. Wow. Yeah. 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 You, you match what match someone. What doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Someone wants to go to town and <laughs> – Go to <laughs> right, Jeez. have you had that happen? Like where people have come in and just gone, like I'm just here to try to knock somebody out. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's where Muay Thai is about that effectiveness and that technique. You know, yeah. they can go to town throwing all these things, but it's like, well, I'll just wait for one good kick that's or it. one good knee, one good elbow, and yeah. you'll yeah learn. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Has anyone come from like a different? martial arts background and go on I know what I'm doing and, and um, I probably haven't noticed it so I much I don't yeah. think we've really experienced it right. like you get a, you get other people yeah. trained from different clubs and yeah. you can see that different technique but not ever so much that they're like oh I'm better than you or yeah. right like that. Yeah. yeah yeah you can just see that they've been yeah. trained by someone yeah. else right yeah yeah what would, what would be the sort of if you were going to explain Carly's method or her technique or if you if you didn't know somebody and then you saw them sparring or and you're like oh no, she's been trained by carly or you could tell like you know is there a certain way that they do things at your club versus other clubs um i think we've got like obviously a few different trainers um probably carly and darren i think because they've traveled to thailand so much you can see that Thai style coming through um but, yeah, there's other trainers that have trained in different areas and you can see that in the way they train people. Mm. Um, nothing necessarily wrong or right with either way. It's just right. that style, style. Yeah. yeah. What would, what would be the, the difference in style that you could you can identify just like, okay, th- their style is just I, – I, what they're doing is just so different to what this is – you know, what, what is it about a style that that is identifiable? I think you see like different fight styles. Um, people might be heavier with the arms, so you can maybe see they've come from a more of a boxing background, more of a kick or more kickboxing backgrounds. Um, same thing. You get people coming from MMA. They, yeah, a bit stronger in the clinch, things like that. So it's just those small little differences. You know, you're still participating in Muay Thai, but you can see different aspects coming out through their fights, right? Or through their training. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that you guys wanted to bring up at all or that you wanted to say? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Oh, yeah. Give Muay Thai a go if yeah. you want something yeah. to do. Yeah. 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 You feel like a lot of juniors that are stepping in. That, Definitely. Yeah. Got a lot of juniors. Oh, great. Junior. Yeah. So Monday and Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like minimal sparring with – with that element, or is it the very light kind of sparring? I'm not sure. I haven't seen a class like I right. always before I get there, but um, it, I just know it's growing. Like there's a lot more kids. I'm not sure what the aspect or what's involved in it or anything like that. Why not? It's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, working like pad works. I think they still do what we do. Yeah. Okay. Just obviously scaled to what's suitable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they still do sparring. Right. How did How did you go picking up the footwork? Was that something that was just came naturally, or was like I really have to work hard at this to not cross my feet over? And I have to. I still to this day. I think right. I, just, work on it, yeah. I did the karate beforehand. Uh, okay. Yeah, like obviously you get better and better and more you practice, but yeah, still felt quite comfortable yeah. having yeah. having done that before. Yeah, a lot of people that have never fought before or never trained before it, their footwork. <laughs> It's and so they just stand, like, obvious. Just stand right front on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Feet together. <laughs> yeah, or that that big step over. You know, when you're moving yeah. s- around in a circle and they're yeah. like stepping over in each goes. foot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah. but um, do you guys have the emphasis on sort of the light 
front foot that you know so you've got a lot more weight on the back foot so that you you've got the ability to throw that front foot as a defensive you know with the sort of i guess traditional style um i've probably had periods of time where i've been heavy on the front heavy on the back just be nice and even is probably <laughs> the best way to go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like you want to be quick. comfortable. Yeah. So, yeah. want to be quick on that front foot, but you don't want to be so heavy on the back that, you know, that leg's getting chopped a bit or things like that. So, right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, <laughs> we, won't, we won't wrap it up there. But uh, so thank you so much for coming in. We've thank got this been yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Carly Taylor and Hannah Salter, <laughs> uh, two of the female Muay Thai fighters and <laughs> – Friday night, uh, queen of sparring. <laughs> <laughs> Professional rollerblader during the day. Absolutely. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you again. This is the Daily Combat Podcast. Uh, check us out. We are on all the podcast platforms, all the good podcast <laughs> platforms, none of the bad ones. Uh, so thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>